Wagwaglids need to tell you about our Patreon. You need to sign up. It is the best Patreon in the game. Starting at just three quid a month, you can get access to the entire back catalogue of Patreon content. So you get an extra episode every single week. You also get early access to these public episodes and you get access to the Patreon specials that we put one out every single month of. And the entire back catalogue of those specials includes... We've got all the lock-ins with Ishan, Stephen Tries, Jamie Hutchinson, Johnny Bongo. They're now legendary and there's more to come. We've got the last dance, the roast of Adam and Dan, the food challenge, the footy challenge. When we went to... Lorette Demand, it just became an absolute mess of a rugby league special. And, legendary. And next year, we've already got Amsterdam and Nashville booked. We've got a restaurant special coming soon that's going to blow everything away. We've got another lock in coming very soon. Go to patreon.com slash have a pod, sign up for three quid a month or five quid a month or ten quid a month, get yourself access to all that bonus content and become a proper member of the team. Stop and, being a pube. And you get to watch this 48 hours early. Yeah. Get on me. Go ahead. Put my knob. In your mouth. Wag Wag Leads, you're listening to the funniest podcast in the game with Adam, Dan, Sensei Kal, and Finn. This is the one and only Have a Word. Brought to you by Manscaped.com, the very best in below the belt men's grooming. Go, Ed, get on me. Hey. Hey. What do you think of my new studio? <laughs> oh, my fucking side of my face is all numb. Don't book in a dentist appointment before a pod. Why did you do that? Well, I had a dental appointment for July that they cancelled, which is their right. They're very busy. And then in that two months, uh, a bit of my tooth fell off. So that's sort of on them. But then it is also on me for eating and drinking shit, apart from sneak, which is low in sugar and super not bad for your teeth. But everything else, <laughs> I ate shit. So, uh, yeah, she's... Um, She's done all right. I'm okay. So what I did feel you like done this morning? I feel like I've had a little pop. White yeah. fillings, because I'm, when it comes to fillings, pretty racist. Yeah. Uh, I only have white fillings. Uh, uh, they're more expensive, though, aren't they? I ex- paid extra for the white one. Attra- attractive uh, girls at reception. Because I'm not a drum and bass MC from the late 90s. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you know that about me, but I'm not. <laughs> attractive girls on reception, fit and fit. Um, the nurse that was like, it said hello. Attractive. I know you want to the talk dentist, about this, but I've just got to say dentist, you want to use a gold tooth. You got, you've got gold teeth vibes. Yeah, cool. like like yeah. Gator. That's right. what your name would be. All right, cool. You'd have a scar there. You'd always have a pen knife. Yeah, I reckon you could pull off a gold tooth and a teardrop tattoo. Yeah, this could go with my vibe as a father <laughs> of two that lives in a village in Cheshire. Yeah. yeah, they all think I'm a lunatic anyway. Yeah, you'd run the place in and, fucking two weeks, mate. And on the special that I'm going to bring out in January at the end of the recording, I'm going to talk about cocaine addiction. So my notoriety is going to go up in Sorgal <laughs> quite a lot. So maybe gold to maybe start selling coke at the drop. You would be running the gaff in no time. What's spinning rims on your Audi? Yeah, my Audi would suit spinning rims. It would. It was. Let's yeah. gangster Dan up. Oh my god, let's drip you up. Drip me up. <laughs> drip him up. Sounds like you're gonna jizz on me. Um, yeah, fit dentist. I don't know if you've ever had fit a fit dentist. Dent- oh, she was attractive. She is attractive. She's great. To be fair to them, what they've done really well. The dental hygienist that works with her. You know the one that holds the. <laughs> Yeah, mm. absolute fucking dinner lady. <laughs> <laughs> just, just as you're about to get an erection, I'm like, whoa, these are attractive. Also, you know, you're talking about power. Yeah, I'll give you this: a powerful professional woman, i.e., a dentist, who's like, mate, if I do this wrong, you're in pain. If I do it right, you, you know, we've done a good job. She's like, sit down, and then she's like, I don't know, I, I, it, but it really I've balances been out. Preaching this when for a you've long got a time. Fucking absolute textbook, did Margaret you, or Linda. Did you give her feedback? Audible when she was doing it, like oh. Ah, 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 ah. At one point, she had a finger in my mouth, oh. and uh, it came. No, <laughs> <laughs> she did. What? She came. No, you being silly, aren't you? You knew I said I came. I didn't. No, <laughs> right, okay. Um, what if that was your thing, though? I, re- I was as I was thinking this. It's not my thing, by the way. I was actually trying to uh, avoid her finger. Do you not like the- oral she- pleasure? I don't think. I don't, <laughs> I'm not oral sure. Pleasure? Oral pleasure is what you think it is. <laughs> no, with stuff in your mouth. No, no, I don't mean getting sucked off. No, if someone say, if a girl says to you, Adam, do you want oral <laughs> pleasure, and then starts fingering your mouth, <laughs> I think you'd be fuming. I think you'd feel like you've been. Uh, <laughs> 
Adam, do you want oral pleasure? Yeah, babe, I do. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. No, do you not like... And then start your carving mouth. your teeth. Uh, a12, a9, <laughs> a7. Not... Just start telling someone on the side. What do you like in your mouth? What? What do you like in your fucking mouth? <laughs> Like an apple. <laughs> no, it's just... Can you imagine turning up to Nando's? Hello, I'd like some oral pleasure, please. <laughs> Do you mean food? Yes. But if you, you could You know feed what I mean. Me. You know what I mean. Like a girl's fingers in your mouth. That's right. not That's not a turn on for you. <laughs> when you... All right, yeah, when you're in yeah. mid... When you're in mid fucking... Woo! When you're two minutes and four minutes into the bank... Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of a sudden, like, a little bit of breath in the ear, a little tongue on the ear, a little bit of a, like... I don't know... <laughs> Well, hang on. Now I'm trying to think. When she's fish hooking you during sex, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you like that, babe. I do. <laughs> When's that happen? Comes in. I don't know. I, I I take pleasure from the inside of me cheeks. Mate, I'm going to give you my dentist's. Uh, uh, honestly, I think you need to. What? I, I think you'd I love it. Know. She's a real fingerer. Like that's it, it. Feels good. She's a real fingerer. She gets them right in there. <laughs> At one point, I was like moving my tongue away because I was like, I'm licking your finger. Yeah. I think you'd fucking love it. You'd be like, Go on, girl. I think if I was gay, I'd enjoy sucking dick. <laughs> I know what he means. <laughs> You're very competitive. I think you'd suck a fucking mean dick. Oh, oh 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what men Lads, want. Am I top five? <laughs> <laughs> I know what men want. It's like women, you know, like women experiment with other women. And they're like, yeah, well, you know, <laughs> I'm not bi, but I've had women down there because women know what women want. Uh, I think men men would be better at sucking dick than women, like straight men. Yeah. Obviously, totally right. and women are hundred percent measure yeah. other women. Yeah, yeah, right. They can't feel the emotions we feel during uh, a good. What is it? What's cock sucking? What's the word for it? Oral Felicia. pleasure. Oral. <laughs> Cockalingus for a lady. What's it for a man? Cockalingus. <laughs> There's a bit of cocky thing to say again. Fellatio. <laughs> Fellatio. 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 Oh, Fellatio. Yeah. Oh. But I, w- I would be better at sucking dick than most women are. Yeah, but you haven't done the reps. No, I haven't. But There's I some know- girls out there that have done the 10,000 hours. Yeah, but they don't know what it feels like. Yeah. They don't know. Yeah, but they've also... They're just, they're just assuming. No, no, I think they've got a direct... You no, know what I mean? but they could be sucking dick and not know when it's bad. Because the boy's yeah. like, yeah, I'm into it because it's... Yeah, because like, even a bad blowjob is, 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 like is all right, isn't it? Bro, bro, bro. I think... I think girls who've done 10,000 hours of duke sucking or gay guys who've done 10,000 hours of 10, duke sucking. Oh no, hours. gay guys don't work because <laughs> Yeah, because that's what it takes to be an, a, I want to uh, see how it? many days that is, please. Finn. I'm not doing the maths because you could do the maths. Just text your mum. Um, <laughs> Why is she going at maths? <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. All right. It's 400. 416 days of cock sucking. That's over a year straight sucking day. That's the sequel, so. No, but. <laughs> 217 hours. If yeah. you want to get your 10,000 hours in, you don't have to do it all in one go. Do you know what I mean? We should go on holiday <laughs> in the summer. To back, that's I'll be sucking. I, honestly, I'm I'll nothing be. I've slept for a Honestly, year. I'm going to be sucking dick till at least December 23, so fuck me out of everything. Yeah, I just think I'd be good at it. And I think if I could get past the fact it's a man's cock, I would enjoy it. Right. Yeah. I mean. I love it when you say things with such authority. Like, I've lived my life by this by for a long time. This is my mantra. I would be phenomenal at sucking a dick as long as... It, well, so with that, you need a trans You need a trans dick. Yeah, would you suck a sexy hermaphrodite off? <laughs> oh, hermaphrodite? <laughs> like, so it's a, like, it's a woman, but it's also yeah. got... She's also got a willy. What's wrong with it? just a, a, tr- a trans lady? Because you've got both. You Be- can pick. A beautiful woman, great body. Cracking tits on the NHS. Things no, but have they've changed. got both. And then a quality knob. You're talking about trans people. He's talking about people who are born with a pussy and a cock at the same time. Ah, it's just too much. Too much admin. Yeah. Where you? Yeah, oh, yeah. It's a to-do list, isn't it? No, imagine being able to finger someone and suck them off at the same time. <laughs> imagine, That's imagine, the dream. imagine. That's the dream. <laughs> <laughs> While you're getting fingered in the mouth. <laughs> Fucking hell. It's loud though. All yeah, of it's loud. That's what he loves. I th- I think you know what I mean. It's yeah, nice do, having do. things in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's yeah. why people like chew. I like, love getting sucked off and having a Solero. It's the nicest. You know, nicest. like cowboys, you like chew a bit of hay. There's a reason for one of this <laughs> hay. Uh, and that is where Adam's <laughs> what theory what goes to shit. What, what do they, is it tobacco? What do, they, do you remember Jean Tigana done? Jean Tigana, uh, Fulham manager. Yeah, he used to chew a little chopstick. Didn't, not chopstick. <laughs> <laughs> He was. It was a good job. He was mixed race because he was racially insensitive. Do you think that'd be? Ding 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 ding. A toothpick. He used to chew a toothpick. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? People like having things in the mouth. 
generally speaking. Right, yeah, but you're talking, the toothpick isn't for pleasure. Jean Tigano's not like, oh my God, why we're 2-0 do down, it? but... Oh. Well, what's it for then if it's, it's just not for pleasure? A, it's just to take it's his mind off it. It's, it's like chewing gum. Right, exactly. No, you're talking about stimulate something being sexual. You want to be like finger fucked <laughs> in the mouth or a pleasure. <laughs> oh, I'm, I, I, I see. Big Jean Tigano there with the... Uh, Grow up. Just Google things, people oh, holding the mouth. Top, top left, the old France. T- oh, look at that fucking. Oh, Adidas. Everything you did for about 40 years was fit. Adidas. Mm. Um, anyway, so the dentist went well. I'm all right, yeah. I'm all right. Falling <laughs> to bits. So this is the first public episode. Yep. Uh, if you are a pube and you're like, oh, I don't like signing up to Patreon, literally, what are you doing? We've got some of the best specials, the best lock ins that any podcast has ever done. We're going we to also Nashville do April. an exclusive episode. So we've already done one for these 17,000 patrons that pay as little as three pounds a month. They've seen all this. We've done the intro, we've done the fucking hell. But if you're a pube and you've not yet signed up to the Patreon, because all pubes okay. are patrons that haven't happened yet, show them that. Well, look show at them this. that. Just look at this. Yeah, we do things here. It's three quid just for what we've done already. Yeah. Even, yeah. even the special and man, the exclusives. What we've done already is three quid. The restaurant bar, special we've up? got coming up that people don't really know about, yeah, is would be worth 20 quid to buy. Yeah. And then Amsterdam, I'm going to do mushrooms for the first time ever. And the bad <laughs> ones as well. <laughs> yes, I didn't know that was definitely yeah. happening. Oh, that's oh, going yeah. to be demonetized. Mushrooms. Yeah. I'm right. going to do the bad ones as well. Not the ones that make you laugh. The ones that get like killer clowns chasing you around. Like... <laughs> Yeah, oh, yeah, out. yeah, yeah, the killer crown. <laughs> Oi, killer, killer, killer crown. Killer crown. Oh, the irony. I just had dental work. Um, yeah, no. Let's just do the laughy, happy, nicey yeah, ones. Easier, no, I want to be scarred for life. It'll be good for some. Oh, get a fucking, get a sex worker to put them in your mouth. <laughs> oh, how good will that be? If she's got mushrooms going, what? Oh, oh, yeah, you love it. Yeah. Um, I thought all mushrooms were sort of happy, laughy. No, just bad no, ones. So the ones mushroom. that actually Sorry, look Finn. like mushrooms. Sorry, Finn, let's try mushrooms. Let's talk to Adam, who's never had them. <laughs> talk me through. The ones that actually look like mushrooms. Well, I'm just and going apparently to the bad ones. I'm going Pizza Express. I'm going to fuck a mushroom pizza. <laughs> oh, I'm whacking them on. I'm going to murder porn clowns on me fucking Pizza <laughs> Express. Lad, cheese, fear. Love it. Yeah. All right, cool. The ones that look like mushrooms apparently are like... Much worse than the other ones. Can I tell you something? In my experience of uh, people who are really good boozers, yeah. when they start doing drugs, they apply the same sort of technique that they do to drinking to drugs and have a bad night. And that's not I, me I have trying done to be that before, like. Actually, I didn't realize how much cocaine I was doing. Right. Oh, so, yeah, remember he told me that. He like sniffed the whole bag and was like, oh, no. Was so it was in Edinburgh and I went back to a house party. And there's. Oh, I've, yeah, we've heard. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like a fucking pyramid of it. And I was just going like, like it was shot to get. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just yeah. like, I'll have another one the next day. <laughs> I do like deals. It was like, fucking hell, you're fucking Henry Hoover. You are. I was like, am I? Am I? I don't do drugs. And he was like, you don't, you don't do coke. And I was like, no, he went. As he's vibrating so what was in the that? corner. I was like, that's the first time I've ever done it. And he was like, are you all right today? <laughs> yeah. My friend Catherine, we once had some MDMA out on a table, dining table, an after party, and uh, my mate Andy was like, I'll tell you what, instead, we'll just rack them all up now. And she just got that that little bit of smack head in her, like, oh shit, someone's put more out. And then went and did a lap of the flat. It's quite a big flat, good party. And then just sort of quickly came back around, had another. And I just heard at one point about an hour late, Andy go, what the fuck? It's from Barnsley, like, what the fuck's going on? Where's all that gone? And then Catherine's like... <laughs> <laughs> in the corner it was so obvious who'd been doing it because it was just out she was like I'm doing it she is now a uh, yeah she's recovered she's been in AA about 10 years <laughs> I think that night was the start of it yeah. honestly in the corner like is she having a seizure she was like <laughs> <laughs> Damn. and what does your t-shirt say sorry it's very distracting I don't read clothes even at the bottom what's at the brief bottom brief romance oh, oh no another, I don't another... read clothes <laughs> what does it say at the bottom oh, oh, right. well, hopefully it's not something about the EDL Oh God! Start reading. Calmer than this. <laughs> Reef roll, man. Let Start me see the back. Let me clothes. see the back. Show me the back. Show me the back. Can I just say it's from Zara? Show me the back. Oh, okay. Oh, this is going to have like oh, Zara love drives. Yeah. Shite on can the I, clothes. Can I tell you? I don't think I've seen the back. Show I'm me the back. Hope it's plain then. Show me the back. Oh no, there is something on it. Turn round. Oh my! <laughs> oh my! Good God! What are you doing? 
catchphrase, not that? feelings yes. again. It does. What does the it top say? It fucking does. Again. Turn around again. My place, My place used, used to, to be. be. And how, how about that? that? Wow. So it's, it's generic. It's generic. Brief romance. Generic. God, I've got to start easy. I've got to start reading clothes, man. Yeah. I have on a... Yeah, because you could end up with like... A political statement on it that you don't agree with. <laughs> Vote Lib Dem. Yeah. The new, <laughs> the new, the new line at Zara. They've gone, a pr- they've gone pretty middle ground. It looks nice, but the writing's odd. It's that's typical Zara, though, isn't it? Yeah. Shops are so shit for that. Oh, we've made this really perfect thing, but we've put a plane on the back. Why? <laughs> ah, we like planes. <laughs> this is nice. What's this? Trans-Alpino. Okay, Transalpino. That's really nice. Scouse yeah. brand, lad. Oh, is it Scouse? Yeah. Transalpino on, uh, on Bold Street. I wear that. Run- trans Alpino, shout out. I wear that. The girl who runs it I read is it trans well. and she's an Albino. She, oh. But they spelled it wrong the first time. Ah, and they yeah. never changed she's it. She's dyslexic as well. <laughs> yeah. I'm a trans Albino. <laughs> yeah. And I like drawing clothes yeah. inside. Yeah. She's a wall. <laughs> it's a sunny day. I'll be in the print shop. <laughs> Albino spelled with a B, love. I can't see you. <laughs> i tell you what. We've got, got a lot of funding. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, yeah. This is a, a well-known dead. Scouse brand. Not that well-known. It is. Oh, it is. Oh, and what's the other Scouse brands? Luciano, I've got my webs. Worn them once. Felt two Scouse. Not worn them again. But I will. I will now that we're working in Liverpool. Is it Monterex Scouse or is it just I mean, adopted? Scouse uniform adopted. Yeah. yeah. I've got my Monterex jacket out there. I've got my me, uh, me technicals on. Shout out. Lovely stuff. These yes. are like... Someone uh, tweeted that Creamfields... It was like, this is all the lads' uniform at Creamfields, and there was like three t shirts, and that technicals yeah, was yeah, one of them. Lovely stuff. Yeah. This is like a lot of match going lads buy this shit. So if you go to a Liverpool game, there's a lot of Trans Alpino tops with a pair of 110s. We need to get you a pair of 110s, actually. Oh, we do. OG Neons. Yeah. Give yourself a pair. Do you know looks good you in 110s? Like yeah. Uh, gay female UFC fighters. I've seen her wear them. Molly looks fucking great. You need a pair? I don't think I'd suit again. No, you would. I'd do a school drop-off in a small Cheshire yeah. village. Yeah, you the we need suit. to get, yeah, a full Monterex Saki. A lot of we alpine at. What are we doing? And some no. 110s. No. What, and a, te- and a teardrop and a fucking gold tube? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> What's going lolly? on? We just, we had, a, we had a chat when you weren't here the other oh, day. did you have an intervention? No, it's not an intervention. It was oh. a conversation. We just feel like... Now that you're going to be in Liverpool, you need to dress a bit more Scouse. We've got to sort of Finn out as well. You can't be wearing Burberry. Finn? you got fucking good luck with Finn. We're going to get you one of them. <laughs> That's a better ghost one, but... <laughs> yeah. You look cool, isn't that? You look like a pedo postman. I'm not wearing it. <laughs> You've got to wear one of them. Hey, you have to sell MCAT to wear that hat. He used to wear them to school. <laughs> no, no, he didn't. didn't. Yes, I'm you not, did. I wore the Lowy Alpine one. Show yeah, me a no, fuck. No, the, the, Show, it was there, you know. There's a Lowy Alpine one there. Stop saying Lowy. See, which one is it? Uh, to the yes. left. One more to the left. That's it. Adam used to wear that to school. I used to wear that to school. Like Peter Cech. <laughs> <Right. laughs> no, but you'd put the flaps up, wouldn't you? <laughs> you know what I mean? Just, just listen, for anyone listening on audio, just imagine <laughs> a really shit hat. <laughs> If you're a scout, you know what a low is. Oh yeah, I'm, oh yeah, t- lads. Lad, I'm not talking to the fucking scout. Like, oh fucking, I was born in a lowy. <laughs> Some people were. <laughs> First hat. Let's dress you like scouts from our year. Let's get him a Scott coat. Oh, echo Remember bag. Them? What's a Scott coat? S C H O double T. Oh, I thought you meant a coat that Scott wore. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Oh, there was it. Yeah. I was like, I thought, yeah. Remember them? Right, the, Scott um, jackets. I'd love a Scott jacket. They were fire. What brand was that? With the hat with the goggles in? Uh, no. Now, up, up to the top shelf there, Finn. And, uh, uh, now, get rid of that square. Top shelf? And what then are you, a fucking up to the top. What are you on leather jackets up, up, for? Up, up, <laughs> And then right, 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 right. Why Two can't more you right. wear the That's internet? It. That's yeah. a Scott jacket. I never wore one of them, like. Let's have a look. Get me a Scott jacket up. 30 quid. Should we buy it? Woo! I'm not. <laughs> I'm 100% not. You're going to look that. fire in I, the in the 051. I would <laughs> rather look like a paedophile postman. Lad, I've got a bag. What are them? What's the brand? Yeah, in, I know what you mean. In the hood, they've got go- goggles. Stone Island? No. I know what you mean. Location. I've seen a location jacket? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes. That's You're going to look you so sick. You know. We've got to scout it up a bit. You need a pair of 110s. Combats. <laughs> Mirishi combats. <laughs> oh, with a little dragon on the side. Glad you're going to look heavy, you know. Glad you're look- all I wanted was a, tra- a trans albino t shirt. <laughs> I just want an albino trans t shirt. Can I have one? No. Not wearing that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> a gimp on the fucking school room. Okay, fucking. 
how to look like a chav through COVID. Oh my Lads, God. I'm going to shop. Fuck, I don't know. I'm vulnerable. Ah. <laughs> Fucking love to see you. Look. Max and Paddy there. <laughs> Again, audio listeners, just imagine E.T. in a fucking bomber jacket. Awful. Dan, can we dress you once? Right, yeah, all right. Yes. Get on Heard that. of one tens. Um, I'll color. come out. I'll do it in the light for the live show. One tens, combats. For the uh, arena, for the arena, I'll come out. I'm playing the arena in Liverpool. I will, I, I, you know, I want to win them over. Oh, I'm buying a chinchilla coat. I'll I'm dressing like the cowboy that I like. Yeah. Piss. Yeah. Piss. <laughs> I'm getting a floor length chinchilla coat, like a Burnham Man one. Right, cool. It's like 25 grand though. Yeah, that's on your card. <laughs> um, Yeah, I still want to wear the Chappelle overalls, but I will replace them for a fully chosen Scouse outfit. Yeah. Oh, I like you. going to look sick. How amazing would it be to walk out in the arena and just... First word, lad. <laughs> so we're getting them what? A pair of uh, combats, a pair of 110s yeah. and a Mazzoni top. Yeah, it's got to be a Mazzoni top. Like one of these. One of Mizuno? These. No. Yes. <laughs> I wear a Mizuno top. we we'll get you some Mizuno footy. This is what I want to wear. <laughs> Brands that I know, that I trust. All sports. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you don't want to look like a paedophile, you said. Lotto. <laughs> Lotto, hey, they used to make okay footy boots. Early capper. Oh, the green ones? The black and green? Yeah, yeah. No, I, I was more the red and blue ones. This uh, is a... Mizuno. Hulk wears them. What? Mizuno boots. Because yeah. he's got a bastard. The Hulk? Yeah. Not a football player. <laughs> yeah. The Hulk? Yeah. <laughs> God, I thought... Noob's <laughs> Spanner. I thought he meant... If, if you look at the I films, thought he meant the footballer Hulk, but you actually mean... <laughs> yeah, no, if you watch the film closely, very rarely pans to his feet and it's because he refuses <laughs> to do anything else. But if you listen, you can hear the budget. studs. <laughs> you can hear them walking around them footy studs. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I've got Mizuno written all over me, innit? No. Prince. You've got other stuff written all over you that you haven't read. <laughs> <laughs> what was your brand when you were a kid? Um, oh my God, let's get him a Lacoste tracky. Adidas. Adidas. Let's get him a Lacoste tracky. Ta- yeah, you say Adidas. I say it right, yeah. Yeah, how do Germans say it? I don't know, we're not German. Yeah, but th- what? We're not about. So what? The German say, so, oh, the three stripey one. I think it's, I think <laughs> it's Adidas, isn't it? <laughs> they, they don't. That's that Adidas, yeah. But we say Adidas. Adidas. Do you say Nike? No, you say Adidas, mate. Do you say Nike? If, they, if it's German and that's how they say it, no. that's like people going Terry Henry. Well, I don't say Thierry fucking Henry. There's an H there, lad. <laughs> Terry Henry. <laughs> so just because you're saying it, Adidas. You say Nike or Nike? That's preference, isn't it? Why? It's American. <laughs> that's how they say it. Yeah. Uh, what do you, you say? You win this point, sir. Yes. Yeah. Nike. Exactly. And also Germans sort of, they, they, they just say what they say, don't they? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Da, diesel, diesel Roy Walker? They're like, the line, line, line. That's what they call Adidas. The line, line, line? <laughs> yeah. Mm. What brand is yours? The yeah. Tiki ones. The Tiki ones. <laughs> <laughs> what? Because all Germans are special needs. <laughs> That's Tiki ones. Yeah, Pumas. Yeah. The cat. <laughs> they don't even say the, the cat. black cat. <laughs> they go, they go, the, uh, meow. <laughs> Who is sponsoring the uh, Borussia Dortmund this year? Meow, meow. Oh, yes. The cat, the jumpy cat. That yeah. what you fill your car with? Is it diesel? <laughs> Just ask him. Was it diesel? Are you enjoying this? I know. <laughs> I'm not. Dan says petroleum. <laughs> He's got a petroleum garage. I fill it with gas. <laughs> <laughs> That's a jumpy cat, meow. Borussia Dortmund. That's what they like. You haven't met many German people. We've I've been met. twice. Really? In the space of three weeks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where have you been to Germany? To Berlin twice. In the oh, same yeah, year. Yeah. 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 It meant it, that made it sound like in the We tried last to queue up for the, the, is it the Bergheim? The, the Bergheim. Club. No, yeah. it was closed when we were. Yeah. We were going to wait, but they, they said they don't open until the weekend and we were only there Monday, Wednesday. Yeah. So. <laughs> Music's blaring out. <laughs> Loads of people going in. Lads, we are closed. <laughs> You but I like your liney, liney, liney you're jumper. There. You're, there. <laughs> you're there in a Scott, uh, a Scott top. You can't come in. We love like a pedo postman. In fact, you'd probably get in if you were wearing a pedo postman out and nothing else. Do you, like, you oh get in bare guy? No. Why? Because you, 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 you didn't do all that? You I don't read my a... clothes, man. No, but you used to be a club. You got the vibe. <laughs> I know. Are you, yeah, I used to be in a lot of things. Do you know what I mean? But this is, this is not where they're I reckon at, I could dress and, uh, well enough to get in. It's, it's not necessarily how you dress, it's just your vibe. Hey, we went it? for a pint and post yeah, the other night and I wore a t-shirt that looked like a fucking nighty. You look good, I think. Oh, Christ. I don't think I'd get in. Selica got in I, on her own. Her mate didn't get in. She's yeah, winning. She's fit, man. She is fit, man. Yeah. She's so fit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not offended by that. You'd love to fuck her, wouldn't you? Uh, 
Well, come on, it's his missus. Yeah, but if they weren't together, you would. What? <laughs> Man can dream. <laughs> Sorry. Beautiful woman. I only apologise. I did not. <laughs> See, Seneca. Um, I reckon I could negotiate me way into the bear game. <laughs> Oh. To N. Right. Go on. Go new, on. new special. Adam goes to the Bergein. <laughs> it's N. Bergein. Bergein. Yeah. Bergein. How do you say it? Bergein. I see. I say Bergein. Well, you say no, no. Co- no. Why? Brickhaus. Brickhaus. No. Is that what it's called? That's a pod. Really? It's just called Bergein. It's not the, but it's just Bergein. It's like Falls. I just yeah. like <laughs> chat to him. What's I'd his like name? Friend them. What's his name? Yeah, because that's what they want in a Klaus. Klaus. That's his name. So music's going. What's his name? <laughs> Yo, it's time. I'm sorry, Scotha. You can't come in. One of them two. Norbert Tom. No, no, no. no. Like... It's a Dorman. It's a famous Dorman. Google Dorman. a famous Dorman. You've seen. We've. I'm sure we've done this before. The Sven. Sven. Yeah, yeah. Sven, Sven. Marquardt. Yeah. <laughs> oh look, me and him are on a similar wavelength. It's, look. A, it's nice being in a new studio because now we've all definitely forgot everything we've ever said. <laughs> I mean, he's a cool cat, like. Oh my god! Yeah, look, yeah, yeah. So what have you got in common? Personality, bad looks of it. I reckon we like got a similar taste in music. I think he likes country music. Jerry yeah. Singer. <laughs> yeah. See him at Luke Combs. <laughs> I've come out of it from Jarman. Yeah, so he just goes, you're not coming in, and doesn't even tell you why. Nine! They also put a, a, a sticker over your phone as well, so you can't take any pictures. And yeah, t- just take it off, though, don't you? Yeah, you would. Yeah, Because you can't be told anything ever. Yeah, Literally, just... in, the, in the new camp. Okay, we're going in now. We're going into the dressing rooms. Please do not take a picture. It's very important. It was a 20 minute <laughs> bitching speech. As soon as we get behind these doors, cannot take picture. Adam, like, literally walked in and went. <laughs> <laughs> I have so, my camera on. Me, <laughs> I have my camera on with the door closed, with the window closed. Like, oh, yeah, it's off. But I was recording shit. Yeah. Oh, oh, if you're light. watching, you Flashing look, means bitch. it's off. <laughs> yeah. Fucking bitch. <laughs> When we walked in, they were just like, don't... you're not press, are you? I'm like, fucking cameraman filming. No, this is just for personal use. We always like to watch really high standard videography <laughs> for memories. You fucking idiots. No pictures. Okay, guys, we're going in now. Adam, picture. Love. Yeah, but like, fuck who off. the fuck is she? Who, who the have... fuck are you? You don't even work here. I do. I've worked here for 12 years. All right, but I don't give a fuck. I like my dreads anyway. Rat. <laughs> that one on like, the who... vest. Oh. Other than like... I don't think anyone's got the right to tell anyone else what to do. <laughs> All right, so she comes in here and shits on the fucking coffee table. Yeah. You're like, well, oh God, how can we stop her? <laughs> well, no, we can kick her out yeah. and say this is our building. You can't tell her not to shit on it. <laughs> if she wanders in, just whips a kex down, you're like, lads, I wish I could stop this. But Adam doesn't believe that he can tell anyone what to do ever. Now, what you mean is you don't believe you should be told what to do ever. That's that is true. I've I've worked pretty closely with you for two and a half years, and you're I, I, honestly I envy part of it. It's just your ability to be like I do not accept your authority. Well, I'm a policeman. Go fuck yourself. Well, you're in a court. Fuck you, judgey nuns. Well, now you're in prison. Yeah, suck my dick. I wanted to be here. Are you getting for nine to twelve years? What? Do you did speak like that? Are you getting two thirty worse? What? Surely you're not. Is she disrespectful to the judge? No, I mean, in the case, if you're like, yeah, yeah, whatever, like, whatever, and you're, and you're like, ah, smoke it, you know. You just threaten him, don't you? You just like, <laughs> yeah, he threatened yeah, you. Yeah, you just go, look, I know that mandatory, like, let's say I'm getting like four to 10 years. I'm like, listen, lad, I know you've got to give me four to 10. Give me four, so I'll be out in like two. Because otherwise, I will think about your face every day for 10 years. Yeah. And when I come out, I'll find you. And the judge will be like, wow, what a great argument. Four years. <laughs> Two months, because he's so scary. And that's how courts work. <laughs> you, I, you in a court would be so funny. Your, your, your lawyer would be like, please don't get done for contempt of court. Adam sat there. Get off your phone. <laughs> Adam's recording the judge. As he's like, Literally like a... Instagram Snapchat live and filters on him. Instagram live. Ah, look at your eyes. You look like a gobshite. Two years. Two years, <laughs> two more years, two more years. No, but if you're in court like that, oh, you're even more full for the crime. You're like, yeah, I was awful, wasn't it? If Sorry. you don't play ball in court, you get done for contempt of court and they'll just keep adding to your sentence. No, but if you're remorseful basketball. on that, <laughs> and you're like, I, I don't Got respect- to play basketball. <laughs> Why do you have to respect his authority? I hate basketball. <laughs> Apart from on the streets. Why do you have to respect his authority? You go, yeah, I was bad, wrong and that. But like- But at the end of the day, you're being a cunt, are you are talking to like that? Yeah. Who, who do so you you've think you've committed a are? crime, yeah. and you think a judge who's been appointed basically by society to rule over a system of but laws... I didn't have a say, did I? No. Yeah, right? 
Yeah, but you don't have a say in loads. <laughs> yeah, I know. What is your? I hog- don't respect anyone. Oh my god, I didn't realize I was li- like working with such a libertarian. Yeah. I think we should be able to do whatever we want, <laughs> anywhere, to anyone. Because I'm me, and who the fuck are you? Well, you've got ten years in prison. I don't. I don't respect that. <laughs> um, I just hate the arrogance of judges. Do you know what I mean? Because like they. They act like gods when essentially they're just people who've worked their way into a position of power. They act like, don't think through how just, they act like gods. Because they're all just they like... Give, they just help put criminals in prison. Yeah, but they're all like, who, hey, silence in my court. It's like, it's not yours, is it? This is not just your court. Like, I'm in it as well. You've just <laughs> got a better chair. <laughs> How shit would a judge be if he came in like, all right, everyone, all right, all right, don't sit down, sit down. Hey, we're all equal here. Hey, sit down, everyone. No towns, just call me Terry. Uh, I'm, I'm Judge Terry, but just call us Tezo. And uh, listen, you have killed three people. I'm going to have to do this. I'm so sorry. Do you like loud noises? You are going to prison. But listen, it's sound. Three meals a day, you'll be all right. Shove a phone up your ass. Text your Mandy. All right, see you later, everyone. Let's get on. Me. Me. Tells you the no, but you have to call them your honour. Your honour. Yeah, that's bollocks. I would rather, wouldn't it be better if judges were just like normal people who had to, like an extra member of the jury, like they don't get a, a vote on the verdict, but then they have to decide how long you get. They just, like, they shouldn't be like this, like... An expert in the law. They shouldn't be an expert no, in the law when they are be. dealing with the law. No, it should just be right. Here's the book, right? It should be a fucking FA Cup draw <laughs> this week. Working in the court is a bin man. <laughs> yes. Stinking, Juicy. Of, yeah. stinking of rotten... Judge Juicy? No, Judge Juicy. Yeah. Oh, oh, Judge Juicy. That'd be Juicy. much better. Yeah. Judge Juicy. Executioner. <laughs> <it? laughs> I think you get done for copyright. <laughs> Judge Juicy. Who's decided be, naming on that? The Trans Albino. Be fucking much better. Right. I'd fucking love a go of that. Oh. <laughs> no! <laughs> 50 first years. thing, first thing, I am the judge. <laughs> Everyone up! I'm the king of the court! And I'm the king of the court. You're going to prison! You're going to prison! You'd be a fucking menace. <laughs> Who, be who's fair. it? I, I want to be the little. I'd be fame before. I want to be the nonce on the little typewriter, just like. Mm. The clerk. Yeah. The one else to type everything you everyone back to us? I've not been writing anything down. I don't know how to work these. <laughs> It's like Angela I'm Lansbury. Playing the piano. <laughs> um, I reckon Judge Duty is a great idea. I I'd like be fair, but fair. The Your Honor shit's bollocks. Yeah, yeah, co- yeah of course. It like, should course just be his don't. name. Teachers are gobshites. Police are fucking pigs. No, we don't Judges call... Judges are knobheads. You don't call a teacher like you're fucking gracious you call or whatever. Sir. sir. <laughs> no, no, we, we have to. Don't have Of course, to. you didn't. <laughs> fucking Cardinal Heenan back in the day. We didn't just call him, sir. We put our hands up and go, hey, mate. Hey, meet Susan! <laughs> yeah, it's your mum's name, innit? Did it to the teachers as well. Yeah, I don't give a fuck if she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking sign this. Mark my knob. Yeah. You don't call anybody else in society by a weird fucking title that yeah. you're forced to do. Yeah, you do. You don't, who? Like teachers. No, but you're not forced to do it. Like, you're not going to get contempt of class. You just call them by the surname. Yeah. Don't you? We didn't even put Mr. on ours. Brown. Like, Averson, what are we doing for fucking this lesson, lad? <laughs> Spanish. What? He was a Spanish, Spanish teacher, yeah. yeah. Senor? Did you not do senor? Taylor. You to do senor, yeah. It's happening, Taylor, lad. But you don't Matt call the police, like, sir, do you? Officer. You call the police officer. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you you don't call anyone anything nonsense. because you're 30 year old scousers. I get that. <laughs> I don't have to do fucking nothing. <laughs> Fuck off. Call me mum. Fuck off. Oh. I call you mum, lad. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly live named your mum there. I mean, I, you just kind of did. It's fine. I'll just bleep it out. It didn't happen. Did I? Yeah. All right, sorry. It's fine. Jeff. Uh, <laughs> Carl's, Carl's mum. Jeff. Jeff. You go, hello, officer. No, but I mean, there are other labels in call society. Call them mate, don't you? Like, if, if the busy's like, at a... Like... Doc- doctor. You call doctors... You don't, Carl, you don't have to. It's a sign of respect. They've worked fucking hard. They are doctors. How do you know? Some people go, do- oh yeah, yeah, they could have bought it online. <laughs> the University of Bootle. Sign up to, to Dr. Rob Thomas's university <laughs> and you'll get a BA in fucking doctoring and medicine and operations and all that. A BA? And now you're a doctor. A BA, yeah. It's not a good doctor. Because he's thing. creative. <laughs> Sew you up in a little smile. I'm more than a doctor. I'm an artist. <laughs> <laughs> this scar's going to look like fucking Pocahontas, mate. 
<laughs> the plate. There's someone ill on the plate. Is there a doctor? Rob Thomas. Don't worry. <laughs> I went to my own university in Bootle. <laughs> I am Dr. Rob Thomas, BA. Baracus. Word. <laughs> If I was sick, I'd be like, no, no. <laughs> if it was B.A. Baracus, he wouldn't be on the plane, would he? <laughs> new studio! Same bullshit! <laughs> uh, I don't like the new shot! Suck my ball! <laughs> now, lads, time for a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. If you go to betterhelp.com forward slash word 10, uh, you sign up there, and this is basically online therapy. It's a way of getting counselling Dan's seeing a counsellor at the minute. It's a way of getting counselling online instead of having to leave your house, go to a therapist's building, sit on a couch like this, do it from the comfort of your own home. You sign up, put your needs and your likes and your personality traits in, and they match you up with a counsellor who specialises in the kind of help you're after. This is betterhelp.com, and it's, it's flying at the minute. A lot of people are using it, and it's, uh, it's very beneficial if you need there a bit of help. There's no stigma dead. with mental health anymore. If you're feeling uh, a bit out of it, down... Just like you're under the weather, like you're just struggling with stuff. Give counselling a try. I'm speaking from experience. It can help out, help sort out a lot of the stuff in your head. And better help is a way of doing it at home. I think I'm going to start doing this soon. I think I'm going to try and unlock what's going on in my head because there's definitely stuff up there that needs to be drawn out. Do you know I, what I, mean? I agree. Better help. H e l p dot com slash word ten. Ten percent off your first month. Go and do it. I'm going to do it. How are we? <laughs> What did you say? No. Nobody here. They cut out. <laughs> <laughs> I said they're too late. <laughs> right, let's do 20 minutes because we've got past it on the way. Uh, Comedians Club Chester, 24th of September, Saturday, 24th of September. Finn Taylor is head headlining Vittorio Angeloni. I'm comparing. There's an early show at 4 p.m. for a tenner. There is an evening show at 7.45 for £15. It's not quite tall out yet. What's that tall tight? You can't talk lately, can you? It's... I don't know what's going it's, on. It's, it's my age. It's COVID thing, you know. It's a, is it long COVID? Yeah, it's mm. genuine confusions going up massively in doctors. It has a long COVID effect. Anyway, Comedians Club Chester. I've had it quite a lot as well. Confusion. Yeah. I still think foreign accent syndrome is the one you want to get. If that from yeah. COVID, if you go, <laughs> would I like to come to my comedy club? What if you could pick the accent though? What? What? If you're gonna get foreign accent syndrome. What accents are you choosing? If they were, like, you wake up and the doctor's like, right, your brain's fucked here, like, you've lost your voice. We we can fix it. What accent do you want, but we can't give you yours back? Right. Well, if I get to choose, yeah. it's not going to be one of the ones that are going to get me cancelled. Really? Scouse? What? You can do Scouse. Scouse would be great. I'd go French right. me. Right. I'd done people want to fuck French people, don't they? Oh, fact. How you say in France? That's what you say. How you say, my cock is massive. Yeah. <laughs> my cock is <laughs> a bigger than the avatar, well. <laughs> As that'd be your opening bit, wouldn't it? Adam Rowe sounds weird now. Mm. I like, I used to love Your name but... is Adam Rowe. I had a head injury. I chose the French accent. <laughs> Ignore the accent. <laughs> And here is my welcome to other world with my <laughs> podcast partner, Manda Madonna and girl. Hello. Jordi, yeah? Yeah, Jordi. Yeah. Hello. No, actually, South Shields. Hello. It's close, isn't it? It's different. <laughs> so it's like you'd have to know the region to know yeah. Sunderland, Newcastle, and South Shields. What was Sunderland? <laughs> Sunderland. It's, camp, it's a lot camper. Camp, yeah. 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 Aye. They're Big all, pride movements in Sunderland. Oh, aye. They're all, yeah. Mac them come, do you know what I mean? That's how it's all about. You make them come? Aye, that's what I do I'm when I'm down come. Sunderland. Is that a euphemism? <laughs> nah, when I'm at literally... Gloucester's just the arsehole, Sunderland's the cock. When I'm literally in Sunderland or anywhere in Weirside. Oh, la, 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 la. That's, what, that's what I'm Very like. <laughs> Never take me down the Peter Lee. Well. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think I go Irish. I think I go Irish. That'd be great, that. I like that. I'll oh, be well. the worst one. I don't think you could do a French Northern Irish. No, no. Welcome to have a word. I don't Bonjour. know. I, I believe it would work. I, I think, think we could do it. No, you have to say every sentence. How oh, you say? <laughs> How you say it's going to be fine? How you say it will work? <laughs> How you say uh, Italian food is on the way? How you say? Oh, that would be a terrible irony. You're so French, but you have other Italian. Oh, damn you, Brexit. Where English and we go to Italian? Mad. 
<laughs> Mad. How ironic. How ironic. Still thinks, I still stand guys, how shit would they really go? Uh, Italian would be good as well. I'm a playing a custom house. I play in the fourth wall. Uh, right, listen. Italian is not New York Italian. I think you're, oh no, to be fair, you're doing. Mamma mia. Oh, there you go. There you I'm go. I'm doing a podcast. Oh. I saw someone on, on uh, Instagram here. I'm podcasting here. Oh, I'm so fucking Italian. I, I want to do a fucking podcast. We got the Italian on the way. We got the pasta. It's coming here. We got a pie. Huh? Pizza pie. Say pasta again in that accent. On. Say pasta again in that accent. Pasta. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, that feels like it's something we need to tune in. Pasta. Look at the pasta. I'll tell you the best meatballs you ever had in your fucking life. My nana taught oh. me how to do it. Oh, Nana Row. I never met Nana Row. Oh, she was she loved meatballs Did you? and all balls. <laughs> no, Nana Row was dead. Is that your mum's mum? No, or your dad's mum. Of course, it's my dad's mum because you right. get your surname from your dad. Don't you? Got a long line of dead people. Oh yeah, I suppose. Yeah, Nana Row. Yeah, the ale took her. Oh, was she the first? Yeah, first of many. <laughs> yeah. I, don't th- I don't think she was in the first. Hi. Tell us about Nonna Row. What was she into? What's she like? Mojito. Mojito's killed Nonna Row. That's why I heard. She she used to drink like Come. millions per year. Mil- <laughs> Just the sweet. Go on. Uh, of Jaeger bombs. <laughs> she loved the Jaeger bomb. She, she invented the Jaeger bomb. Every day, five o'clock, she'd just sit down with a Jaeger bomb. Five. Yeah. Wow, what a lady. Left it till five. It's five o'clock somewhere. It's five o'clock here. <laughs> You're not bad. <laughs> Got a fucking clock for the reason. She was Irish, not a row. What? Was she? Yeah. Uh, was she from South Shields? Donegal. Oh, from Donegal. Yeah. I think that's a bit Donegal. Sounds a little bit like Belfast. I don't I'm know. only going off Shea Given, because Shea Given's from Donegal. Sounds like it's from fucking Northern Ireland, which he is. It's from the north of Ireland. Let's not get into it. There's been a lot of problems around that way. Nonny Row, I'll have a fucking Jaeger bomb. Pew. Nice. Christmas. I don't know why I'm doing sad story. What's the grand she- version of Nonna? Grand Nonna? Well, it'd be Ghana, wouldn't it? Instead. She's a gunner. Yeah. Me nana's a gunner. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I never met her. I uh, my granddad John, of course. That's my dad's dad. My granddad Vinny, that's my mum's dad. Yeah. Family, can we have your family tree, please? Yeah, Frida Sharples and Leonard Sharples. <laughs> the Sharples. Frida and Leonard. And Frida. That's oh, a sexy couple name, The best people ever. Frida, Frida and, and Len. Leonard. Frida and Len. Leonard. And they begot uh, Colin. Leonard sounds like a euphemism for your cock, doesn't it? Get your Leonard out. Get your Lenny out. You can say that about any <laughs> Big name. fucking special needs cock. <laughs> hey, you guys. Of mice and men dick. Um, <laughs> Leonard and, oh God, he, they were so good. Len, Len and they had Colin, who's my uncle, still going. Norma, Norma Nightingale. Hashtag gone too soon. Some cool names in your family. Um, and then on the other side, Rita and Bob. It's all very Preston in the 40s, isn't it? Yeah. You're not from Preston. Rita and Bob. Rita and Bob. Sue there as well. Yeah. They had threesomes. <laughs> and they had Peter, who's my was dad. That porn? Is who's Rita got COVID. Bob my too? dad's got COVID porn? right now. No, it was not. It was an 80s film set in Sheffield or Barnsley about a, uh, two babysitters who fucked the guy, uh, the dad of the family. It was a very, Sexy. very controversial film. Sexy. Why? Because it was about teenagers having threesomes with married men. It's quite it does happen, no? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just don't think they've been. Does it? I just think in the eighties it was a bit of a like, what the fuck is this about? In it, yeah, it was. Um, they've gone on to be quite famous. Like, anyway, they were. It was brilliant. It? Good? No, it's fine. Okay, I've started watching The Crown. You know, after she died, don't know why. I hate period dramas. So I was like, you know what? I want to learn, and I'm enjoying it. Uh, Matt Smith, who is uh, currently stealing the sh- show in House of Dragons is Prince Philip he's in Philip the, in first the first two season. seasons of The Crown. Yeah. And he's so fucking good. The, the the rest of The Crown never matches the casting of the first two. I like Claire Foy. Because, they, because yeah. um, She's good. Claire Foy's so good as a young Olivia Elizabeth. Olivia Colman, though? Olivia Colman is an excellent actress, but she's too expressive to play Elizabeth. <laughs> she's fucking all over the gap. She's yeah. like, I'm, I'm the queen! queen. <laughs> I'm the queen of England! Fucking lick my head and stick it on your letters. <laughs> lick my head. You just want to send a letter? Lick my fu- lick the back of my fucking head. Do you reckon anyone's ever licked the back of the Queen's head? <laughs> for a laugh? What, and then try to put her in an envelope? No, do you know what I mean? No, do you reckon Philip ever was like, hey, come here and lick the back of her head? And was like, 
I'm see you in two I'm days. not ready to laugh about this. I'm still grieving. <laughs> Still but I'm enjoying the crown. Didn't think I would. It's but Matt, I'm learning. Matt Winston Smith Churchill's so a gobshite. Good. Matt Smith's going to the funeral. I think. I think I read that this morning. Is he? Yeah, he's flying in for. Is it. anyone watching? He's it? doing the service. Oh right, <laughs> he's singing "Candle on the Wind." In the wind. Matt Smith is playing he's, "Candle on the Wind." He's, he's singing "Candle on the Wind," <laughs> and he's playing Prince Philip just to really fucking weird everyone out. <laughs> I'll be playing Prince Philip circa 1957. Um, yeah. Oh, the funeral. Oh, I give two. Is, is Elton John doing it? Is he singing? I know we sort of speculated no. on this last week. No. Is he not? He was like they, Diana's, wasn't he? So yeah. like, he's probably mates, the last really. person they'll ask. Yeah. Yeah. Have seen her taking the traffic lights out? She's having Lou Vega. Yeah, I saw that. Lou Vega. <laughs> Lou, Vega. Lou Vega. Oh, I wanted to get the Mambo number five. A little bit, Elizabeth. She's in a 30 hour queue and all that garbage. Five miles. Five miles of queue. Oh, the conditions are going to be awful in Just that queue. Just where the hive is. God. Just walk straight to the front. Yeah. Is she the fellow who collapsed? The guard? Oof. Yeah. Whoopa. Gravity. Grand Gangnam Style. <laughs> it's the, the remix. <laughs> who who do we think should play the funeral? Shaggy. <laughs> not, not Girly on my <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't me. Yeah. Yeah. It gets Charles to feature on it though. It gets Charles to do you know the all, all the lines he's make, doesn't it? As he points to the camera like a rapper, he just fills Imagine up the whole Imagine the stars of Mr. Boom Bastic <laughs> in the church. <laughs> bom bom bom. <laughs> Everyone's lover. feeling sexy in the church. <laughs> Yo, man, my mum's dead, man. No. <laughs> Is that his feature? So it wasn't you. I well, wasn't honestly me. feel sad about Nonny Row. Oh, Nonny Row from Donegal. <laughs> Nonny Row from Donegal. Elton John played her funeral though. Weirdly, didn't he? No. All oh, right. Okay. <laughs> He doesn't know he was dead. Oh, he wasn't dead yeah, she wasn't even famous. I don't know what he'd been doing. <laughs> Hi, babes. I've come to play your funeral. Oh, Jed I don't would think, be good. I don't think old Nanny Row would be happy about that. Jed would. Jed would just start in the revolution. Yeah, Jed week. would fucking hate the monarchy. Yeah. Christ. They broke it faster than the fucking Fabrizio Romano. Did you see that? Jed would broke her dying before BBC. Yeah. Really? What? I don't. Yeah. They were the quickest on Twitter. Right. The Queen is dead, official. And then, like, BBC broke it. Right. So, the, Maybe so got Jed like would. Maybe they direct line. Jed would kill the Queen. Maybe they did. Are they Irish, Jedward? Yeah. yeah. Well, the rebels, they need to quiet down. Fucking lizard, man. Just like fucking... Twins are weird, aren't they? Do you know any twins? Twins? Twins are a bit like... Twins are the definition of weird. They're so in sync, aren't they? Twins are the definition yeah. of weird. They're the proof there is no Jesus or creator. Why? Because what? everyone is different, apart from that cunt that looks right, right, just like you, who came out of the same womb. I honestly don't know why twins don't just from birth have I... different haircuts. Just cut their hair different. Right. Do you know what I mean? Because they like it. No, because it makes them parents, special. Like, I'd want to differentiate them. Do you I know mean, what I mean? I so I knew exactly who's being a cunt. Even if the Siamese twins? No. <laughs> Different haircuts. <Different. laughs> <laughs> Imagine that in the back. Like, I don't want to look like you. I, I, no, I don't. You don't need it there because you're like, I'll just call them left and right. What if they were chasing you for way? What? Back um, to back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what, back to back? Like, like tobog- eggplant? Toboggan <laughs> twins? <laughs> Salt and pepper. No, the best thing to do if you're a twin like is... Like a body cop poster. Yeah. <laughs> you want to look the same as your twin? Because, like, go on, go and do that fucking essay. I can't be... Uh, like, exam I can't be asked doing. Yeah, but as a parent, you'd want to differentiate them. Yes. Even if they were both girls, I'd make one of them bald. I know twins that <laughs> sent the other one for the uh, driving theory and passed That's twice. That's disgusting. Don't admit that. What's the name? I'd, I don't, don't know that. which twin it was, but I remember That's the twins. Are they from real? That. One of them's probably real. dead now, anyway. Don't matter. <laughs> yeah. Twins I shot in year nine. There was twins on our road, and they were the weirdest two kids. Yeah, go on. Well, do you remember the names? Alan and Ian. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. I'm just telling you, I want it to all continue like it is true, but this is where I'm noting my complaint. Alan and Ian. Go on. Alan and Ian, the twins. They live together. From Dovey. Yeah. Of course they live together. They're Are twins. They <laughs> They, they were li- adults. They lived together. Oh, no. Yeah, and they lived together on Kemsley Road, where I grew up. Oh, oh, Kemo, the Kemo twins. Yeah. The Kemsley Alan two, they called them. The, the Kemsley, Kemsley two. Fucking <laughs> weird. You Kemsley have to do something pretty nasty to be called the Kemsley two, don't you? <laughs> they, they, they would come, like, out together if the ball went in their gut. You know, like, you're playing footy against their fence or whatever, they'd come out together and tell us off. It's fucking weird. How old were they? What? Like, 50s? <laughs> What? How old are they? Uh, 50s? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> they, they used to go shopping together. That's they, less weird. 
With they a had game. a bike each. They were always on their bikes. Oh, they didn't have a tandem. No. Nope. Oh, you share a womb, you share a bike. Yeah. Surely. Hang on. Do 50 old living together. Brothers. Yeah. yeah. Don't pull too hard at the thread. I won't. It'll all come apart. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah. Alan and Ian. Yeah. What do they do for work? I mean, I never knew them that well, did I? They were flower wives were weird as well. Sorry, what? Wow. They were married. And they all lived together in that house? <laughs> yeah. Oh, now this is different. <laughs> This is a new level. The lie grows. They were twins. I don't know what they were called. The wives. I do. Do you? It's probably Alan and Ian, wasn't it? <laughs> Alan and yeah. Were they twins? The wives Alan were like, I never, like, we used to obviously, like, we were little shits, weren't we? So we'd fucking give them a bit of shit and whatever. But, like, it's like, how, how can you live in that dynamic? Living with your twin and his wife and your wife. Wow. It freaked me out, twins, man. I just, I find it a bit like, Ugh. Yeah. Like, oh my God, we know what each other are thinking. Well, one of you needs to go traveling. Think about that. <laughs> go, go and fucking hang out with other people. The maddest is when it's different sex twins. Like when it's a boy and a girl. We had one of them in our school. Isn't that though? Who? Isn't that a bit less mad one though? One of them's doing 30 years now. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. of course yeah. they one are. Of them, one of them is a very, well, uh, what I remember of, she was a very bright young lady. And one of them and shot them, a whole fucking, yeah. One of them's in prison for killing. He went somebody. postal. Yeah. One of them is in prison for 30 years for armed robbery. No, murder. Is it murder? Yeah. Huh? Uh, one of the murderers. Did he was. kill someone on a robbery? Two for one? I think it was, actually. No, uh, I know what it was. I'm not going to say because people know it. Do you is. know which shop the, the robbery Argos. was? Curry's. Argos. <laughs> no. There was no stock. So was shot shot hey, Curry's would be a really annoying one. <laughs> That's just display. <laughs> <laughs> Can't rob the display. Don't take that. Getting off the one-way system. Um, yeah. Fucking twins. Right, we do questions. Yeah. yeah. Go on. I think we've got an update from delivery. Oh. Okay. Go. The driver. Is the Italian on What's the his name? What's his name? The driver. Let's have a look. I was lo I love getting you. Oh, should action. we do a new thing? Delivery driver, get a random tip. How do we work out what it is? Randomizer. What? Ready? One to a hundred. A percentage or one to a hundred of percent. Rikishi. Rikishi. Rikishi Fatsu. Rikishi. Rikishi. One to a hundred. Random number. Fifty-four pound tip. No, they get fifty-four percent. All right. How okay, much cool. is the bill? Is that probably five pound forty? Right. Oh, hang on. Rikishi is on the way. <laughs> Oh, but it audio. Oh, nice. coming straight from his cash. That is going to ring in a minute, and I will have to answer it on pod. Close, That's all right. It's our food. Speak, and see, you'll have to go down and get it. It's a stroke. What? It's long COVID. It's a th honestly, doctors are saying it's such a thing now. People, the confusion is such a big. I don't know, but I feel weird. I get it all the time, especially if I'm hungover. Yeah. <laughs> if Adam's had like six wines of Guinness, he feels a bit weird, a bit confused. Sometimes. <laughs> a bit emotional, a bit, a bit needy, <laughs> horny, piss porn, can't speak. I wonder what a piss porn. It's long COVID. The fuck's piss porn? Oh, don't. Let's not start that again. To be fair, we have I got... We've got a hangover today. Right. Where were you last night? I'm boozing. Looking for dinner. With a, with a lady. A with woman. a beautiful lady. Was it a man? It was a man. Yeah. Andrew Slight says, oh, it's so nice that you're trying someone else because you dating women's not worked out, has it? No, not so far. No, so it's good that you're trying something else. Yeah. Never tried, man. But he'd be fucking great here. I'm taking both Alan and Ian. <laughs> oh, the twins. <laughs> Their wives don't know. Oh, you slut. Andrew Slight says... It's my the same to me, isn't it? My mate works... Identical twins. Doesn't matter who I go out with. Cool. Slight O. Slight O. Mm. My mate at work showed me a porno called Tracy's First Anal, which is filmed <laughs> in what I think is a broad York, Yorkshire what accent. There? Jacqueline. Jacqueline Wilson went off. She gets bombed. Just wait, Ooh, just waiting for Takeshi's castle to deliver the food. The dumb Lads, ground. watch this. <laughs> Tracy's first anal. It's a. Uh, it's filmed, and the uh, the actors have got uh, what he thinks is a broad Yorkshire accent. I'm Scottish, so I don't actually have a clue. At one point during it, he asks where his cock is, to which she replies, "In me shitter." It's. <laughs> That's Tracy. Will we get copyright struck if we play this? Yeah, yeah, and we'll go to hell. It's a treasure. Can you chest. put it on but turn it on mute? I just want to. I want to see it. It's a treasure. Yeah, we're going to need a, a work laptop. It's though. a treasure chest <laughs> of one liners. My question is, which accent in a porno would make batting out, uh, uh, batting one out near impossible? She's fit. 
No, she's not. She's <laughs> <laughs> like a smack. Oh, Tracy. <laughs> yeah, all right. She's wonderful. We can't put. We can't play the sound because of YouTube copy infringement. But no, I'll do the voice. She's like, "Yeah, all right. I'm Tracy, and I've never had it in batted before." Hey. Code oh. is twenty-seven. Stay. Skip it forward. Get to the right. fucking gold. What's? I can only imagine. Let's see if she knows her way around the car. No. Come on. Oh dear. <laughs> Oh, dear. oh God! Where's she going? Oh, oh dear, no. they're not nice titties. They're the best tits I've ever seen. Tri are you hungover? Tri I hope. Right. I tell you what, that's quite a nice pussy. <laughs> we need a female on this stuff so badly, and it's not Tracy, by the way. Oh yeah, I'm Tracy. This is my first job at a podcast. Oh, you bastard. Um. My question is, which acting in a porno would make batting one out near impossible? I'd say South Shields, pretty bad. Yeah. Accent? Oh, yeah. no, I, I like the Geordie accent, me, and it's very similar, isn't it? Yeah. yeah oh, you do, uh, yeah, Chinese does it for me, defo. Mm, no, well, all the, Jap <laughs> the Japanese porn, I think, I just think it's too irritating. Like. <laughs> oh, oh, that's not a voice. Oh, oh, that's not a voice or an accent, that's a noise. Yeah, they, but they all do a weird, like, yeah. very, like, like girly sort of, like, it's too big. <laughs> Have you not watched Japanese porn? I'd say Bromi would be mine. Yeah, I bored. feel like that is, yeah. Tennis. Yeah. French actually, is good. How you say, oh! <laughs> how you say, I'm coming. I'm going to squirt all over the room like a broken fire hydrant. Fahadon! Fahadon Kalada! How yeah. you say I like it? How you say fuck me in the pussy? Sam Crook says, all right, let's. <laughs> question for all the boys. What's the weirdest thing? I genuinely think we've done that question word for it. As I finished it, I was like, I'm almost sure we've we done it. We, get ready for second lap round, everyone. Sam Crook says, all right, let's. Question for all the boys. What's the weirdest thing anyone has ever said to you in a toilet? I was recently in a bar in Manchester, which only had two unisex cubicles, no urinals. Went for a piss, but only put the door to put the door to rather than lock it. A guy walks in and says, "Oh, sorry, mate, didn't realise you were in here. Is it all right if we cross streams?" So Sam Crook was sword in, fight was in a come on. There is an etiquette in a toilet. You know the sword yeah. fight before? Yeah. What in a cubicle? He's encroached on your space there. Yeah, in a cubicle, it's a bit roughly. Yeah. I've just had a really weird memory from childhood. Wow. Where Whoa, in a <laughs> I remember being at uh, John and Helen, my mum mum's friends, they twins in the Lake District, <laughs> and uh, they had these like battleships, little like sort of paper battleships that you put in the toilet, and then you pissed on it as a little game, and there was like an aim thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's little fussy ones in uh, Macaulay. Is you pissing onto the fussy and you, like score a goal with it? Right. I must have been. I'm hoping I was really young for this one because I seem to remember someone else pissing as well. I think there was... Oh. The maddest thing anyone said to me, <laughs> this wasn't mind. even that long Have ago. I've been abused. Let me just check. No, I don't think so. I think it was a nice game. Yeah. Yeah. There's something yeah. weird about sharing a toilet though, isn't there? Yeah. Have you ever done that as mates? We've never had a sort of fight, no. No. Because you have to see each other's dick really, don't you? It's fine. No, no. I haven't seen Carl's dick. He's seen mine. No, I know, but you don't. Like I've I, only seen Adam's dick erect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's for you, trailer. Wow. Was that Berlin? <laughs> Twice in three weeks. No, that was when I was uh, having sex on my dad's bed. Um, yeah, but uh, ideally. I wasn't in the room, by the way. <laughs> you just, was, yeah, just out the window. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> what are Christmas decorations? Is that Santa on a sleigh? Oh, no, it's Adam's dick. Get it back in. Broke the window. I was pissing in. McCooley is not that long ago. And a fella, this was, I can't believe I haven't told you this already. <laughs> a fella said to me, it's all well and good banning fox hunting until there's foxes who won't get out your guard. It, I mean, play? who can disagree? You're absolutely right. Yeah. You can't shit in that urinal. Someone said that to me once. You can't, you can't shit in that urinal. urinal. You can't shit in that urinal. It's the one next to you do shit in. I just don't want to be taught to at all. The urinal. Don't want I once ran into a nightclub uh, club bar. Oh my god, I can't talk. A nightclub toilet and screamed, "Get out!" To Adam because our yeah. song came on. I, I was having a wee, and I'd queued for a while, 
and I was having a piss, and our favourite song come on, and he ran into the toilet and screamed, "Get out!" <laughs> so I did. And we went and danced to it, and then well, I went you and just stopped pissing. Yeah, yeah. I had a good prostate at the time. We were young. No, come on. You can't once a wee stop. No, I can stop a piss. I can stop a piss now, and I stop can... a piss to go for a dance. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> really? If yeah. the song's on, Dan, there's only one drop. Can we play it four times a night. What was the I about half What was the out. song? Do you remember? Diamonds found here by Avicii. Yeah. Diamonds, ha- diamonds found here by Avicii. It was no. It was um, the other one. What? The German national anthem. I found. Yeah, it's called Diamonds Found Here. That's yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was that. Oh, one. he did no. No, it's not that one. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Banger. Can everyone stop a piss to, to to go for a dance? I mean, I don't have to do it very often in my house, but. Your <laughs> mum comes in. Cow! If I needed to, I could. Lou Vegas on. Yeah. Do, do, do. I could save a bit of a piss for later if I wanted to. I've got the strongest bladder I've anyone I know. Like ridiculously strong though. The research. Oh, do you know what? Funny. You should be so proud of yourself. Yeah. Amazing. I am. Let's get you a badge. Go on. Yeah. You've got a badge over there that says you haven't got a strong bladder or oh, fucking bowels. Uh-huh. Who in the one? Yeah. Uh, don't even wear your glasses when you record, neither. Lids, lids going. <laughs> Just not being able to not say it, like at, at live shows or after live shows. That's always a moment where you're, you've you got your nub out and you can feel like the, all yeah, right. <laughs> and you're like, I'll just let's not do it. Are you getting your nub out in front of the listeners? <laughs> at, at the toilet. At a urinal. Oh. That's where we were oh. back in the room. <laughs> Dan's on stage. You're like, yeah. Yeah, I should not piss on stage at like live shows. You're right. Second half of this episode, we had Doug Stanhope in, who was phenomenal once he wasn't stoned off his head. <laughs> I don't even think stone's the word. He was like... He was in another realm. space. Bombed yeah. in. Yeah. He turned up absolutely bombed in. The first half, he's bombed in. Second half, he's phenomenal. And so you'll be able up. to see that it's the first time we've ever recorded in here. The first time we We sat down and we'd literally just finished the studio. Doug Stanhope turned up, who I'm a massive fan of, Tried to play it cool, but we were the, we needed to go. Ah, but the chronology of how this has happened was all off. Yeah. We ended up doing the first half with Doug that you're about to see, then having a break, and then coming into doing the Patreon episode that was out like on Wednesday, just gone. And you'll see us being like, "Right, Doug," like we're all freaked out that, by the fact that we've got a new studio. And he is the he looked like a a rabbit in 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 headlights. He was like. It was yeah. mental how stoned he was. But yeah. you're really going to enjoy Watch it. it. Watch him. You're really Watch him going to enjoy relax it. Relax into it. It's great. Let's go and eat some pasta. <laughs> of course. I love the pasta. I love the pasta. Hi, guys. Now it's time to talk about our sponsor, NordVPN. I honestly, you'd think by now I'd know what a VPN is. Still clueless. A VPN is basically a way to sort of, it's extra security and you can set your country to anywhere in the world. So. Like your computer, like I could tell my computer, hey, I fancy being in Sri Lanka and then it will give me the Sri Lankan version of Netflix rather than the British one. There's so much cricket on that. (laughs) That's amazing. And if you want to watch Sri Lankan porn, but you don't want to do it from Cheshire. Yeah. Do it from Sri Lanka? You do it from Sri Lanka. And you can use, I use it mainly to get like the footy when it's like a three o'clock game, you can set it to a different country that gets those on telly, watch it from there. Uh, You can sort of set it to a different country and go on Netflix so that you can watch films that are available in Canada but not available in the UK. It's a sneaky way of just having the best of both worlds. Have your cake and scrat it as well. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. And that is, you know, nordvpn.com slash have a word. You get a huge discount off your NordVPN plan and four months for free. It's completely risk-free. Because there's NordVPN's 30-day money-back guarantee. What are you waiting for? It's a free hit. Go and do it. Go and sign up and watch the footy from the Bahamas. Or Sri Lanka. Ladies and gentlemen, first guest in the new studio, Mr. Doug Stanhope's here. Honored. How are you? I would have suited up if I knew it was all fancy and shit. Well, we were going to tell Finn to wear the suit. Hello, Matthew. Come on. Yeah, we have started, but you can just come in, mate. That's fine. <laughs> we asked we asked Matthew uh, Matthew to go and do a lemonade run because uh, Doug mentioned do lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> I I feel like we've tried too hard. <laughs> yeah. Do you know this is like turning up on a first date with like four bunches of flowers? Like, God, this guy wants to fuck. I told you I would find something else. I got a, a delicious cider instead. Now I, 
A strongbow dark fridge. You're going to drink all of these. Right? <laughs> That's how this is going to go down. Because Matthew's got a bit of We've OCD. We've got no room in the fridge, so they do have to be drunk. <laughs> yeah, no, there's an adorable little vintage trailer thing next door here. A what? A little vintage trailer that sells coffee and... Yeah, it's uh, great, isn't it? Yeah, it said homemade lemonade, and I'm high as shit. And I'm <laughs> delicious. What have you had? What are you high on? Oh, we ate some edibles on the way up. Yeah? Yeah. In the car from Nottingham. Yeah, I figured that's a good way to kill two hours each way. Do you know, <laughs> I've d d done that drive so many times, the fucking Nottingham to Liverpool, and it would definitely have been better every single time with edibles. Yeah, it, oh. was a, it was a fantastic idea. Fuck the A50, fuck I'm the M6. I'm not a huge uh, weed guy, but in, over the last couple of years, I've been doing edibles, and uh, and it's, yeah, it's a, like... Are they just I, everywhere? I couldn't start drinking this afternoon and have a good show tonight. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's your, what's the cut off, What's the point in the day where you're like, now I can maybe have a beer? Where's the, I, I usually start uh, an hour and a half before my show. Oh, that's very sensible. Uh, start uh, cocktailing, and it, it works out perfectly, but you, it, you can't do it all day. I, I tried to do that last week. I went out at one o'clock in the afternoon last week. And tried to do a show at eight o'clock, and it's the worst show I've had in ten years. Yeah, it's by a fucking distance. <laughs> <laughs> it was so shit. Yeah, but at least you put your, you put your hands up and went, nah, fuck that up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You went a bit yeah. too early. Very, very unprofessional, and shall not be repeated again. Finn's a big pot man. <laughs> Finn loves pot. <laughs> yeah, loves we might have weed. some chocolates left. Oh, oh, pot chocolate. Finn, can you please get stoned on? The Let's christen this fucking studio, Finn, and get you it's in the high. Works. <laughs> oh, that'd be so good. We keep getting demonetized on YouTube because of pot, so I think. Oh, yeah. Doing no, a bit of pot yeah, on. Right. Oh, my oh, God. My God. <laughs> oh, my God. It's actually happening. Finn, no, we... no, on the Patreon, yeah. All oh, right. All I'm right, just going right. to get demonetized. All right. Okay. All right, all right. Sorry. So, uh, oh, quick, oh, shit. Because drugs are bad. Yeah. Thanks, you, thanks YouTube. <laughs> thanks for reminding me. It's illegal, isn't it? You can't just put it on the internet. Yeah, it's so strange that it's illegal over here. There's uh, so much weed at home. <laughs> That's half the reason I started taking the edibles, is I love gummies. I was cleaning up. I didn't accidentally. I was, I was cleaning up, and I thought these are fancy gummy bears. I didn't notice all the fucking <laughs> pot leaves and Jamaican <laughs> you know, uh, bent to the. What the, what state do you live in? Arizona. And it's legal there now. Yeah. How long has it been legal there? To the point, I, I said when we first moved there, like everyone had a peach tree, it seemed, and but they'd all get ripe at the same time, so. <laughs> Once a year, every one of your friends is bringing you a basket of peaches. That's oh, what yeah. it's like with edibles now. Because everyone's got, like, they, once it became legal, I guess people is overstocked up. And they're like, hey, you want edibles? I was going to give you edibles. Just, just edibles. Not every, not every, surely, like, Alabama, you can't buy fucking edibles. No, but I think, In my head, that's... I, I don't know the numbers on how many states it's legal. I think medical marijuana, I want medical marijuana is legal. I think it's like 33 of 50 states. Oh, wow. Oh, I thought it was less than that. I thought it was a lot less than that. I don't think it'll ever be legal here. 38, 38 states. states. I think it's a little bit too... Uh, I think this is just too, too Tory. Right. It's very Tory to... Yeah, but illegal, once those it? cunts realise they can make money off it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But they, they'd already know that. They'd already be doing it, wouldn't they? No, I just think if the consensus is moving anywhere towards, like, maybe we should legal it, they'll fucking work it out. Like, it's, it'll happen. I, I'm starting to think it'll happen over Has it. anything gone from it's illegal to legal in this country in terms of drugs? Have they ever done it? They moved the weed down to Class C. That's and, it. Uh, and have they moved up mushrooms? I know they were legal for a little bit. It's now, like the fucking league table, isn't it? Who's yeah. been relegated? Who's been promoted? Ketamine's down to, to fucking <laughs> C. Well, we should do it then if it's just C. I just don't know how anything that grows on the planet can be illegal. Right. Do you know what I mean? Right. What? So that's heroin then, is it? Yeah. Right, cool. It, but, but it's it's there though, isn't it? Like right. it's not... Like I understand like making a pill... Is bad because it's all chemicals and shit in in a lab. But I think well, if it grows on the planet, came from the earth too, somewhere. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's yeah. all from the well, earth. Well, I'll fucking shut up then, eh? No, I no, just, I know what you I mean. I just think if something grows naturally, weed, which is literally a plant, you sh you you can't tell me I can't have that. Yeah, and cocaine comes from. <laughs> The well, they can, yeah, they, so they that. can tell you not to jerk off on the bus. <laughs> this came from me. <laughs> this is just natural. I'm just. Yeah. Everyone does it. What, what, I'm taking a shit on your doorstep. It's natural. 
Do you know, we all do it. Just on the ring doorbell for your neighbour. Doug, I, I, I know we've only just met today, but you're actually talking to the wrong two people here because he has wanked on a bus before and I regularly shit myself. <laughs> right, can, I, can I just say, it wasn't like a quick bus into town. I'm an animal, but I'm not that much of an animal. I'm not like getting on two stops, wanking and then get... It was a, it was a coach. It was like a greyhound. It was right. like a fucking... I don't it's think still it, disgusting, isn't it? <laughs> in my head, I was like, come on, it was in the two toilet, hours. Or in the, like, underneath the blanket, or... <laughs> I was, it was just, oh, God. I was about four rows from anyone. I was towards the back. It was, it was a quiet coach. And I was, How old were you? I, it was about four months ago. No, <laughs> um, it's like 23. I was the horniest, dirty. It was, it, was go, it was going down to my first ever paid gig, so that hadn't gone. It was Nottingham. So that would have been 2002, late 2002. So I'd have been 21. All right. Uh, I last, it wasn't like a big wank. I didn't have like- There's some years in there where you, if yeah. you just had a, like a, a, a instant recall Rolodex of the silliest things you stuck your dick in and <laughs> between okay. puberty. Okay, question. What's the silliest thing you've stuck your dick in? Oh, I've, I've I, that's why I'm saying if I had instant recall, I'm- Oh, I thought you were talking I'm, about pe I'm sure people. I tried to fuck a melon. Oh. Uh, <laughs> it's more worrying that you can't definitely remember. <laughs> we might have. Oh, mate. <laughs> thinking about it though, watermelons, they fucking, they want it. I've fucked a watermelon before. No, no, no. No, you no, you've not. no, you've not. You're just getting excited. You've no, never no, fucked a watermelon. I have fucked a watermelon. Mate, you're from Dove This, uh, this kind of answers my question about, uh, where your question, why why weren't you invited to his wedding? <laughs> <laughs> well, he didn't get a plus one for the watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> it's just turned up. I did actually fuck a watermelon once. Really? Yeah. Right. Oh, I, yeah, I want to talk to you about the cake. Did someone take a bite of it? <laughs> sort of. <laughs> Uh, turn, just turn the little fucking groom and bride away. You can't fuck a cake. <laughs> just <laughs> fuck. You What's can't... the most fuckable fruit? Is it melon? What? what, what the inside of a watermelon <laughs> feels like a pussy, doesn't it? No. What with seeds? It's fleshy, isn't it? No, it, it is. Like, it, it, it did feel good. Uh, you've, uh... Did you warm it up? No. <laughs> so it was like a cork. Why did I find that <laughs> That was over. Did you warm it up? That would be too dirty, wouldn't it? If you put a watermelon in a microwave to fuck it, sort your life out. Yeah. I was hungover. I was newly single. And when I'm hungover, I I'm get. Surrounded by fruit. <laughs> I was in a green grocery. <laughs> no, I actually had the thought you can fuck a watermelon. And I went and bought it specifically to fuck it. When? I didn't just. <laughs> I didn't just have a no, watermelon. No, that's no. that's worse. Testing for freshness. <laughs> <laughs> you went out to shag fruit? <laughs> no. I went out to get fruit to bring it back to shag in the house. I didn't when fuck I the watermelon in Asda. Oh, I was just going to say, when I, when I think of uh, what fruit is the most fuckable, I have to think... Well, is it a top or a bottom? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you you can't be submissive with a watermelon, just make a move. <laughs> Tiny yourself up. It rolls. <laughs> it was quite. It was nice. Right. It did happen, by the way. Cool. This is a new studio, and I don't mind if you fuck a woman in here, but do not fuck a watermelon in this building. No, I won't. Nice. I won't fuck. So yeah, right. This is the new place. Yeah, yeah, I wish I saw the old place because that way I'd have some context every time you tell me this. The old the place was place. an absolute shithole. <laughs> <laughs> it, was a smelly, it was a smelly cupboard. So right. here's the thing, right? I'm single. I'm the only one here who's single out of us three, right? And I think I should be allowed to have sex in here. And he wants to bar me from doing that. Well, no. I yeah. would... Yeah, but, it's like a wet dog. I'd put something down. <laughs> <laughs> like you yep. should be able to fuck in here, but not on your stuff. Thank you. You can come in. Yeah, get a hazmat dog suits. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Oh, the ET fuck. That's great. Isn't it? If I come in, there's an ass mark on my desk. I'm gonna an ass mark on the desk. Yeah. I'm not gonna fuck anyone on the desk. There's perfectly good couches all over the place. Oh yeah, at the couches that I sit on. Yeah. It's the same thing. I'll wipe it down. It's leather. No, just. That one isn't out there. I think Doug's every right to be nervous. Oh, yeah, we're like, yeah, we're like, just like invite him in, and we're like, something's getting fucked in here, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't Luke. see any fruit. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
I'll bring a squeegee on his date. To, oh, oh, you know? he, the- he wouldn't. He's such a fucking animal. <laughs> no, I just imagine yeah. him walking around the whole date with a squeegee. <laughs> What's that for, later? <laughs> You'll understand. I'm a very sensitive lover. <laughs> oh. I'll bring some that's all white. OCD. Just where is the where's the most random place you've f- fucked someone? Where like. This studio will easily go up there for surely if you bonk someone in here. I don't think this is random, though. I think fucking at work is like, like I think a lot of people do it. Yeah, with your colleagues, though, <laughs> isn't it? Like the sexy thing is fucking your colleagues. Doug, where have you, where you, where have you got any? When I was, my first TV show, I was only had only been doing comedy a year and a half, evening at the improv. And uh, so I watched it at a bar because I wanted people to see me. And with my open mic friends that... And then a girl that was with someone. Anyway, we, we wound up in a in a porn shop and a jack joint. I don't know what your smut shops are like over here or yeah. were like. Uh, but you go in, you know, where you rent videos and it's a booth. So you, you jack off and you get your few screens of choices. Uh, but they have little windows at the bottom between the booths so people can look into the other booth and a guy's sitting there jerking off while he's watching me fuck this girl <laughs> after my show and it was funny and I was laughing. Hey, I was on TV, now I'm fucking a girl in a, a smut shop. We, you know, it's one of those where you dare each other to go, yeah. Oh my God. And then you fuck in a, in a so uh, cut to, I, I run into her a few months <laughs> later and we go to have some drinks at a bar and we pass that smut shop and I go, uh, you want to go back in? and. She said, yeah, and then, but the second time, it felt really gross. Like, if this is a habit, it's gross, and then someone's again watching you fuck, and you're like, yeah, you should just leave. Yeah, all right. Yeah, you can't repeat that. That has to stay. Yeah. That has to stay as a thing. The yeah, one, the one, off, the one off is funny, Yeah, and then you're like... I mean, we don't have that, though. No, we, we've got porn, sh- like, ad- we, adult stores. That's like Amsterdam. We've got, that's in Amsterdam, in, like, closest to us, I suppose. But we've got no... Oh! I thought we were talking about like a cash converter. Oh, <laughs> with someone's second hand flute. Hey, why don't you uh, look up uh, inside of a, a, a jizz booth at a, an adult bookstore and see oh, if you yeah. can Google First Google search. search is jizz booth. <laughs> How many states is weed legal in jizz booth America? What a fucking song that would be. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Is it like? Is it like? It's just like a little corral. <laughs> Vince, the, the, the cursor just <laughs> it just went over a dildo. Like mm, adult yes. bookstore type of adult, book, adult bookstore sex booth. Right. Like we that. don't really have it. We don't have that at all. Do we, we don't have wanky booths. No. Oh wow. Oh, well, let's oh, not have any of them. Glory holes. Oh shit! There's Doug. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like an adult bookstore with the, the <laughs> go back smudge. to that. Go back. Look at the very bottom row, second from the right. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Demonetized. Oh, God. Ah. Yeah, do you reckon? And we're going to not slide that in now. Yeah, we've got nothing. We've got nothing like that. You can't if you're listening and you don't watch on YouTube, we just saw images of someone eating. What do you mean if you don't watch on YouTube? Do you think we're sliding eating. them in? What? <laughs> I know, but just to, for context, yeah. someone was getting in their ass hole eating. I that, do like that was senior analingus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, at the OAP home. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Come here, Marjorie. Oh, oh, man. They're up to it, man. They're shagging in OAP yeah. homes. They fuck everyone. Analingus. <laughs> yeah. Good airline. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking not bad. They're, old people homes, fucking, there's loads of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't I you have- know? That's how the queen Because he lives in one. <laughs> we fucking. Because visiting my nana was boring. <laughs> what are you saying, Mary? Dirty Don't old shag your nan. No, you can imagine that they do fucking go ba- bananas in those places when the lights are off. When the lights are off, they just fall over and break a hip. It's not the cares on. <laughs> Turn the lights off. That's the last That's thing you do. That's how it gets started. Yeah. <laughs> She's laying there all defenseless with that broken hip. When we turn the lights on, they'll all be shagging. Oh no, they're all sat in their own piss. Brilliant, nice one. She's a that wasn't a s- just takes a little bit. That is a convenient excuse, though. If you've got like a piss fetish, 
and you're covered in piss and you're like, have you got a piss fetish, Marjorie? And she's like, no, this was mine. Yeah. <laughs> that is a good excuse. Convenient excuse. Piss fetish <laughs> soaked in piss. If you, if, any, if anyone's ever fucked in an old people's home while visiting an old person, you are a different level of horny. Like if you've gone with your missus and then you're going, you know what? This, the sadness in the air has just got me feeling frisky, babe. Let's go to this disabled toilet with all these handles so we can hold on. That is a fun. I, cu I couldn't fucking know people's home. It's the smell. You know, like a, it smells yeah, like meat. Them. Yeah, good meat. Like old <laughs> Meat? No, but like old people smell like the back room of a butcher's. Do you know? <laughs> you've never been in either of the things and old people's home nor the back room of a butcher's? <laughs> what are you on about? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you on about? <laughs> fucking hell. I'm telling you, the next time you go to an old people's home, you'll know exactly what I mean. They smell like uncooked lamb. Cool. I'll let you know. I'll book one in. I'll book a visit in. Do you know they're a bit weird Wait, about yeah, you yeah, visiting you when you don't have an old person in there? You do have raw chicken in your refrigerator. Oh, that's mine. As well as dildos. <laughs> you have raw chicken and two dildos in the fridge that you have to get Pat to. Hey, the I'm cider's a... behind those. Yeah. <laughs> And mints. Uh, we have so if you wanted to pull out the raw chicken and say, guess, guess who's Nana that smells like? We could do a little game show. Yeah. We're, we're, people, uh, people get the Nana cremated. We didn't. We just got to put in like a little plastic packaging. Why have we got two dildos in the fridge, by the way? Doug raises a good point. I mean, it's more, you, you'll know. What else should chill them? Because I want to see how many people mention it. Right. I've got a tally chart going, Doug's number three. <laughs> I'm going to tell every guest to get their own drink <laughs> and see how many of them I go. I thought you thought they might go bad. <laughs> oh. Got to keep your dildo in the fridge when it goes off. It's an edible dildo. <laughs> um, oh. Back to the pictures on there. I, meant to me I like the idea of a Glorio. <laughs> right. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'll get Peter back in and <laughs> put one in the wall. <laughs> We're already having a little bit of a problem with echoes. Wait till a dick comes through a wall. <laughs> I'm just like, the idea of getting sucked off from someone I can't see, I think turns me on a bit. Uh, Do you not understand that? <laughs> just throw it out to duck. duck. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, if you like jack joints where uh, uh, massage parlor, hand job joints, I think you should have a glory hole so you can, you know, in the table. Oh yes, my god! A hole for your face and a hole for your dick. Yeah, a hole for your dick, and then just milk you like a goat, rather than make you flip <laughs> over and do the awkward. Uh, yeah. You poor a, a Swedish woman kid. on her knees under the table, just fucking Swedish. Yeah. 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 We get locked. We've had. But she could just go to. under there, and it would have the same kind of glory hole effect. But you just get a massage from her, so you're pretty sure it's not, you know, some trucker. <laughs> <laughs> you can still feel a moustache but just close your eyes do you know what my worry with the glory hole is that I just couldn't get I've not got the biggest dick so I, I'd be worried that do you know what I mean yeah how big's the is it is the wall insulated <laughs> yeah you're not getting through an insulated wall yeah yeah, yeah. it's I not need, Ocean's Eleven way. <laughs> you I mean, need to be like you'd have to have a glory hole in like a tent wouldn't you oh I <laughs> Mate, if I visit Japan, I'll do the glory hole all day. Paper think, walls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be a But if there's any sort of cladding, <laughs> I'm fucked. Keep, keep it going. Get it in. I'm like, eh, bashing against the wall. I don't uh, know. Getting sucked off by a stranger's weird. No, it isn't. It's lovely. Yeah. He's fucked a watermelon. What you... <laughs> Sorry, yeah, yeah. He's not the moral compass of this room, is he? You, you don't know what it's like to get sucked off by a stranger. Well, the first time you get a blowjob, so everyone's a stranger, so you make them as a friend, mate. So. No, 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 no. That's You've not... never been sucked off by a stranger. You've been in a relationship with everyone uh, who sucked yeah. you off. It's true. He's I'm only a... ever had two, he's I'm a two serial, relationships I'm a serial his entire life. Serial monogamist. Mm. He's a, I mean, yeah. one of them was longer than the other one. Like, it wasn't like it's been. Yeah. So you don't know what it's like? To get sucked off by a stranger. <laughs> yeah. I Let's don't... do it as a Patreon special. <laughs> Carl gets sucked off by a stranger. Come on. It's content, isn't it? Okay. Nice one. <laughs> I don't think he misses. He's going to allow us well. No. Um, how long have you been doing stand-up, Doug? How long has it been going? Uh, 32 years. That's wow. That's you two put together. Yeah. yeah. Fucking and 12 years. Well, there's that asterisk for the COVID, you know. Yeah. Where none of us did. You said you don't do Zoom calls. What did you do for a podcast? Did you, so did you it, just stop at all? No, so during COVID, we did do it on Zoom, and we did it every day. Just one-on-one, -on -one, watching All each right. other slowly break down mentally. And I 
we hated talking to each other towards the end of it because how can you have an interesting conversation with the same person every day when you're doing nothing? We yeah, did no, my podcast, I mean, it already sucks because I don't put any effort into it, but <laughs> during COVID, when it's just us going, so what'd you do this week? Nothing. I, I stared at you. What, there's, I have nothing new to say. Yeah. Did you do any online gigs or did you just not do anything? No, not gigs. No, I, I'm very, I can easily never do stand up again. No. Yeah. Fuck off. Really? Yeah, after COVID, I, this is fantastic. This is what I want to do with the rest of my life is absolutely nothing. You know, <laughs> you know, there was, there was a period like I started missing it, but there was, there was a weird anxiety about, oh shit, I don't know. I was fucking skin. I was scared That's what about- I loved is I had no, like when I've taken time off for myself as my own choice, I feel like I'm, you know, I should be back at work. I, yeah. I had no anxiety because I had an excuse. I had COVID. I you had a reason. Yeah. And I could actually enjoy having time off rather than feeling like, oh, I should be working. I'm being lazy. But I don't want to write a new set. So fuck it. You know, it always, it's, it's yeah. To be, to be home with my wife and I did bedtime, like with my daughter on a run, like, like read her story, got her ready for bed. And I haven't, in all her life, never done that. I've never done that for more than two nights. And then I've got gig, 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 yeah. maybe a night off. I have in like... the same bed for over a year since I was a teenager. Oh, my God, yeah. There was certain bits of it, the sort of simplicity. Yeah. If you could get away from the anxiety of, like, what the fuck is going on? When am I going to earn again the mortgage, you know? Yeah, well, what... I also had the benefit of having, I live in the middle of nowhere, and all my friends are, they don't have families or jobs, so everyone's naturally quarantined. So, so I could hang out with my friends, and we had a big patio and a yard, and that I wasn't like great. some New York comic that was stuck in 400 <laughs> square feet of studio the whole time. Yeah, that I could see making you crazy, but I, I have a nice spread for it. You is it is this true or is this legend that your address has been sort of passed out? And, Google and, Doug Stanhope's address, and your fans just turn up, knock knock on, and say, "Hey." No, it's I mean, it's not close to anything. You have to is it Bis- really Bisbee. 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 Yeah. So it's it's just public knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> it literally yeah. is just public knowledge. I fucking love it. And you've got fo- you've got fans that surely would do it's, that trek. Some people have uh, occasionally. Someone will peek their head over the gate, and if I'm out, I'll wave and take a picture. But it's, <laughs> it's right. Not. The legend, the legend of comics is so funny. The little like I've heard from comics. Yo, know, Doug Stanhope is like let let people know he's a drug. If you knock on, he like you, you can have a beer. You can come in. I think the Chinese whispers has gone around. Like, you, you, you get a roast dinner. <laughs> Everyone, you know, stay over. Well, I know he used to have like, an open invite for football. But then I, I, then Rogan brought it up, and I'm oh. like, yeah, shit. He goes, so anyone can come to your house for football? And I'm not like my neighbors. <laughs> and if you're a comic that happens to be driving through on your way to L.A. to Austin as the pilgrimage goes, <laughs> it's a little bit off that beaten path. But once I said it on Rogan, then fucking idiots started showing up. <laughs> T- tailgating at Doug Stand Up. Yeah. So. And, uh, yeah, so I'm still trying to shut that rumor down. Right, open. okay, so that's where it... You know what, when my wife, uh, she was in a coma for a month, had a bad spill, traumatic brain injury, and when she got out, it was during football playoffs, when she got home, and uh, it was the perfect excuse because she can't be around people, she can't be overstimulated because the, the brain's still healing. So that was like, we got rid of most, most of our football... F- Friends aren't into football, so I get it down to just a handful. Back to how it started, that actually watched the games, and uh, yeah, my wife's coma was a godsend for yeah. getting rid of people. <laughs> Watching football with too many people <laughs> becomes just being at the pub or what having beers, doesn't it? I I, 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 I watched the into first a host. I'm doing yeah. spent most of the time cooking or replenishing drinks and ice. And yeah. So the, sun, the Sunday just gone was the first night of the NFL night like so the 1 p.m. east coast slot we yeah. get at like six yeah so we watch those games and then the next slot which is like four or five games and I had my mate James Allen who's a, a comedian over it was just me and him it's great that's the perfect or maybe one more and then beyond that there's too much going on I want to sit with one NFL geek because over here you've got to be a bit of a sort of football geek to be into it yeah and we just we hardly chatted about comedy 
at all. Mentioned, maybe slagged off two other comics. And then and that whole night was just being geeks. I love that. I love watching it with one person who's equally geeky. Yeah. I don't want to, like, when we went to watch the Super Bowl, that was fucking great. But it was beers, it was food, it was chicken wings. Didn't actually watch the game that well. I fucking love it when you've just got one diehard next to you. I love that. We're having a Super Bowl party in here, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Who's your team? Wolverhampton. No, in, in the, in the oh. NFL. <laughs> what? Thank what, God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How, how are you a wanderer? <laughs> how are you a, a wanderer? How are you a Wolverhampton Wanderers fan? Why Wolverhampton? Uh, we did a, a, this uh, tour that was just horrific in uh, 2012. Seven weeks in the UK. Where I, this, I don't... For what? I, <laughs> I, I, six shows in... You know, six towns in the UK and I'm good. Like, yeah. yeah. We're in the places that he has never heard of. Uh, anyway... So uh, Wolverhampton was the uh, the best show on the tour, and the most like though the Wolverhampton is gonna suck. Everyone's warning us how bad Wolverhampton is to the point where I know this is gonna be great because everyone says that it's shit in towns that are shit. So and that we're great. Comedy and works so better. That's been my team. Comedy works better in towns that are shit. Yeah, it works better in places where there's no hope and no joy because yeah. they need us there. Yeah. If you go to a nice posh town, they don't want us. They're all fucking up. Lancaster, shit gig. <laughs> Cambridgeshire, shit gig. York, won't go into it again. Shite, <laughs> utter shite. Newcastle, unbelievable. Stockton, Middlesbrough, unbelievable. Liverpool, I mean, this is a great city. Newcastle but- was my team until I got to Wolverhampton because on that same <laughs> tour. And it, of course, as soon as I said, Wolverhampton's my team. They get relegated. <laughs> I you know, buried my dog uh, in a, a wolf's uh, flag. What? Yeah, someone because... Was the dog dead? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Hoping that he'd re- re- be reborn as a wolf. <laughs> do, you, do you follow? I was, I was burying the flag. I just used the dog to weigh it down. <laughs> do you properly follow English football then? I, I, if as it's on, can. I'm watching it, but it's on really early, yeah. which is sometimes a good thing. If you wake up, you can't sleep. It's 5 a.m. Oh, shit. Premier League is on. Yeah. Also, if you're American and someone goes, who's your team? Well, I mean, we meant NFL team, but it's way funnier that you're a Wolverhampton Wanderers fan. <laughs> if you go Wolves, everyone goes, oh, fucking sound. Yeah. There's, there's like five or six teams, and if you say them, you're like, oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, it's, Shane Gillis has hopped between about seven different teams now. But w- Wolves is such a fair fuck to you. Also, like, uh, the Tottingham Hotspurs. Nailed it. That's what they're called. <laughs> Tottingham. Just, just to say that and make people in the audience cringe. <laughs> <laughs> Shane, w- when he came over, he told me he was a, a United fan. And then I took Shane to the FA Cup final between Liverpool and Chelsea. And he was like, oh, I'm going to be a Chelsea fan. And now that Arsenal are doing well, he texted me the other week and said, oh, I think I'm going to switch to Arsenal. And I was like, you're doing with the English football what I've done with the NFL, which is try and piss off people who really like it by buying the merch of every fucking team. So I've got like a Chiefs top, a Bears top, a Rams top. And it's just because I've got friends who are really, really into it. And they're like, you have one team, you pick one team, you follow them. And I just, I really enjoy Pissing those people Mate, you off. picked a Chicago Bears when we went to watch the NFL in America. You basically did the thing of I like the colours. Yeah, I like the blue That's and the exactly orange. Exactly, love it. I, I am the uh, the fruitiest fan of the uniforms. I, I'm a huge uniform guy. The, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers old creamsicle uniform. Oh, it's so the old seventies one. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm, I'm a I'm a Saints I'm a New Orleans Saints fan. Yeah, partly because I love that black and gold. Yeah, I fucking love that. I think it looks great. And they do all black with the gold trim. Oh, it's so nice. Yeah, it's gorgeous. <laughs> and you know what? I hate to say it, my favorite uniform up until I Redskins had the best uniform. I loved the logo. I loved the maroon on yellow. And now nah, that's just drab maroon. <laughs> yeah, it was so. They're now the Washington Commanders because. Uh, the Redskins is naughty. has been cancelled. It's naughty, isn't it? The com- they were just the Washington football team for, for two years. Yeah. But because everyone gets called by their nickname, like so it's like Chiefs, Seahawks. There was just two years where 
we all just had to the accept that team. the football team was a score. <laughs> yeah. like, dickheads just say I Washington. Just say skins. Yeah. That's uh, what they called them anyway. Are you a Skins fan? Yeah. The Washington just Skins. Take the red out of it. The Washington Theys. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the Washington Wokes. Oh, that would have been fucking great. Um, Who made them change it? Was it just like public outrage? Because it's been that for years. Yeah, it? well, it, it's gained steam. Like everything else gained steam. Uh, yeah. I did my, uh, I always uh, make my preseason Super Bowl picks, and I, I never try to be right. But this year I, I picked uh, the Chargers against the, um, uh, over the Minnesota Vikings. The Vikings? And they just beat the Packers. Uh, Chargers are, are my little. I'm a, Saints are going to be fun. But San Diego. Sure. San Diego. Uh, uh, Super Chargers. I love him. <laughs> I, I, will, I, I, will, I will go ahead with the Washington Commandos, but I'm always going to call <laughs> the Los Angeles Chargers the San Diego Chargers because that's where they came from and it's where they belong, and hopefully they go back. Yeah. Have you got a team? That is Arizona your- Cardinals. That's okay. where I live. Nobody, yeah. nobody roots for them because everyone in Arizona is a transplant. So... Uh, <laughs> So they just root for wherever cold that they came from. Is it just a load of people retiring to Arizona? Like, or mo- like- yeah, it's, a, it's a, not quite as transient as Vegas, except Vegas has a cool team. So you can move you know, from Carolina to Vegas and drop, you know, jump ship immediately because Raiders are cool. Yeah. Arizona Cardinals are not, so... Are the Arizona Cardinals not cool? I, I, we're They're boring not. the shit out of everybody <laughs> yeah, except yeah, you yeah, and yeah. I. So Do you know what? It's, let's move on. The uh, the uniforms, though, it's back to the... I know, I know <laughs> we're, we're making it sound like a fashion thing, but the LA Chargers have got a powder blue that is just lovely. <laughs> and the Raiders <laughs> is cool as fuck because of NWA, because of Ice Cube, because of, like... they the br- oh, Over yeah. here, that was so popular. The black, the silver... The the L A they were L A then they went back to Compton House. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. We asked them to change his name. Oh, um, yeah, man. Shall we? Um, Let's break. Should we yeah. break? Yeah, I gotta do, get some ads in. <laughs> oh Brought my, my God. own ads from my podcast. Oh, that'd be fucking how fucking Helix mattress. If we gave if own. we gave Doug a read to just do one of our adverts, <laughs> it would be so like an eight minute advert. Was like, what the fuck is this? Um, uh, mate, if uh, it's, uh, it's not going to happen, but it would be good. All right, let's be. What's happening, lads? Uh, Manscaped have sent us a new uh, advert read through, and uh, it's because the soccer season has started. You love soccer. Um, and uh, they they want us to basically do this. Uh, they, they've sent us a script, so uh, da- Dan's going to read it. Can't off. miss that. Don't wait till your trouser devils are more disorderly than Man United. This season, bring your below the waist to the top of the table with Manscaped. Use the Lawn Mower 4.0 to show off your Modric level ball skills and ensure your member will look a good. <laughs> Man City may have won the cup, but your Man City will be the champion this year. When you go to manscaped.com and enter code WORD20 for 20% off and free delivery on your order. I've cut me cock in the past. I've cut me balls using different razors. Manscaped skin safe technology means you don't snag the bag. It really is the best grooming products available on the planet for men's below the belt grooming. There's the lawnmower 4.0. There's the little ear and nose trim of the weed whacker. There's the ball crop preserver stuff. There's the ball deodorant. There's the undies you get. Just go and get the Performance Package 4.0. It's good for you. You can give it as gifts for Christmas. Yeah. This is the best stuff on the market. And you get with us, you get 20% off and free shipping worldwide. How did they get that? Get 20% off and free delivery worldwide with the code WORD20 at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free delivery at manscaped.com and use code WORD20. Celebrate a new season of the beautiful game with your newly beautiful balls. My balls have always been fit. Fit. All right, we're back. I couldn't say the word break as we went to break. I'm just rectifying that. No one heard it in the room. I didn't get the piss taken out of me, but everyone heard it. I went, all right, let's go to Beck. So I just wanted to say, I can talk. We've got a gift for Adam. We've got a gift for Adam. It's sexy time. Oh, Oh, it's your ex. Hole's not big enough. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my God. That's about my size. That's about my depth. We're going to end the episode on a... Adam me, just me fucking bombing a melon, yeah. The thing is, though, I've moved on from this now. I like women now. 
Right, all right. Boo! <laughs> I'll take the melon. Hang on, wait, 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 Matthew. Can you go and get a woman as well, please? <laughs> Don't stick a hole in her. All right, that was too far. Uh, this episode is sponsored by Fruit. Use code Carl Ten. Um, ten percent off fruit. fruit. We in the break. We were. Um, you know what? Better help. Uh, you can also use promo code Stanhope. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, fucking uh, don't though. <laughs> oh, this is the first guest who's ever tried to steal hijack, our sponsor money. Hijack your, your, your code. Julian someone codes. will do that. I bet you someone does that now. Oh, yeah. that's so funny. Mate, yeah. if someone's going to put another code in, I'd rather it was Stan up. That's yeah, fucking no, great. absolutely, yeah. But it's, yeah. Uh, we were talking about um, comics. In the break, we were just chatting about comics getting, like, attacked, which oh, yeah. is uh, obviously Jim Jeffries basically launched his career getting a fucking slap in Manchester and you were saying poor, poorly sure there was a fucking attempted attack or something? I, I, I don't remember the story specifically, but I think he tried to fake a, a, a onstage attack and... Uh, Oh but it was God. just like so see-through. I think they didn't put it up, or I, it's some urban legend like. And there's that. a lad, Chris Rock, who started doing really well off a slap that he got earlier in the year. I don't know if you've heard. It. He's doing arenas now. Yeah. Um, have you ever? I mean, you've 32 years of gigging, and you must have pissed I think some it's people the off. Same stage as Jim Jeffries, wasn't it? And again, when I was doing that MySpace pedophiles bit, I didn't get hit, but a guy tried to get on the stage and the at the comedy store in Manchester. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same place. What do you think is the most you've ever pissed an audience member off? Is there a, a distinct memory of the worst it's gone where someone... No, I'm, I'm trying to think of any... Uh, but what did he do? Did he, he got on stage and then didn't punch you? Like, come on, you've got halfway. Uh, he, the, uh, security was right there by the right, time he got yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, he was coming at me and then they, they took him out. I think that's probably on YouTube, but it's a non-event. Uh... The, the one that comes to mind is in the Fringe Festival, I was hosting a show, which I'm a fucking terrible MC. I just, <laughs> I just bring people down, and then some comics come up and try to fight their way out, and then I make it worse in between <laughs> comedians. And I was, I was talking about ecstasy. It's always something that's benign that someone goes fucking ape shit about. You do all your fist fuck abortion, whatever, rape cancer jokes. And then you say diabetes and someone flips hey. out because it affects them. I know you, baby. So that's what happened. I was doing a bit about ecstasy and a girl starts screaming and crying drunk, saying, man, stop funny. My sister died of ecstasy. And I go, first of all, no one dies from ecstasy. They die from maybe not hydrating or fucking being stupid. And <laughs> they don't die what from did she ecstasy die of? She and it's was stupid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say that? Yeah. I was oh my god! All this. I'm like, you fucking. First of all, no one dies from ecstasy. It's you, people like your sister that gives drugs a bad name because she's fucking <laughs> dancing all night in a beef and didn't drink any water. And you're gonna give the drug a bad name. And so, and then welcome to the stage, the next comedian, <laughs> which I do. She's the Tron in Edinburgh is like yeah. three stories of bars. So yeah. she had gone upstairs. She left, and I bring up the next comedian, Scott Capuro, is coming up, and she's up there still and bawling her eyes out, and tells all her fucking hooligan friends that the American comedian downstairs is making fun of her <laughs> dead sister. Wow. So thank God I'm a smoker because it saved my life. I'm out back smoking while Scott Capuro <laughs> is on stage, an American comedian. <laughs> <laughs> so these two fucking knotheads come up on either side of him on stage, poking you. And there's no, the, 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 there's, there's no security there. There's the ticket booth lady and yeah. the lady that's running. And the you're show, lucky if ladies. she's fucking there at the Tron, like yeah. just the tonic who I've done four or five fringes with. Ah, uh, you know they they run a. A, a shoestring team. He was annoyed. <laughs> like, was I love Daryl. I love Daryl. Oh, Daryl. But fuck me. Da he could do with a few more members of staff up there. Daryl is the reason that I'm doing two nights in Nottingham. Oh, really? Yeah, he was evidently, whatever room we were supposed to be in as of a couple weeks ago, someone emailed me and said, Hey, I contacted the venue. They say there's no Doug Stanhope show there. Oh my so he'd been selling tickets to without having secured any venue anywhere. 
Oh, he's we a fucking. Just found this out, and that's why we thankfully the Glee Club took us in last minute like refugees. So, <laughs> yeah, that's Daryl. He has got that in him, hasn't he? Hi, Daryl. How you doing? You all right? <laughs> <I'm just> gonna, <laughs> I know I'm going to get a text. What the fuck are you talking about? Um, yeah, yeah. That, I, I can. Like, the fringe is not the place where you usually need security, though. To be fair, I'm not well, just playing devil's out advocate. I was smoking, so someone from the, the uh, show, Hannigan, or one of the comics, said, you got to get out of here. Hey, brought my coat, and we ran down the back stairs. And they're, in the meantime, still trying to get these two oh. fucking hoople heads off the stage. And Scott Kapoor is not just an American comedian. He is a flamingly gay. Oh, he's <laughs> like, so gay. You? <laughs> you? <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is, oh, though, with Scott, that. if Scott was like, if they were like, you made fun of my dead sister or whatever, Scott Capora would then absolutely make fun of your dead sister. <laughs> <laughs> like, if he was getting accused of that, he'd be like, well, I wasn't, but I fucking they will now. Stage. They were about to beat the fuck out of him. <laughs> and it took the, the girl that was you know, hosting the event to finally talked them off stage by then i was secured at another bar and <laughs> relieved of my mc duties wow the main thing is if you're gonna get fucking attacked you've got to be it's got to be filmed it can't that's the thing where i needs, it, make such a big deal anymore about everyone keep your phones don't bring your phone out during the performance there's no videotaping if we you know, it, fucking Chappelle, you have to put your phone in a in a knapsack and uh <laughs> Yeah, it's like a. Yeah, but little... no, no, that doesn't count for a, a violence. Then get him up. Yeah, bring, bring your phones out then. I, like, so many times. One chick tried to claim that I threw out at the end of a show. I was literally 90 seconds from closing, and she had been such an awful fucking blowhard. Couldn't stop the entire show. That the, that was the last time. I go, there's only like a minute and a half of this closing bit and you're going to have to fucking, I won't do it till you leave. And they threw her out. And then she tried to claim that she had been sexually assaulted on her way out, groped by a dozen men and the security guard groped her. And thank God it was one of those times that someone didn't listen to the don't, you know, someone videotaped her entire exit where she was, not even touched they, by the elbows guided to the exit because she was that drunk. Not a single person. And this was after she had Facebooked it. Her friend was on, got on Twitter and was on my Twitter. Everyone's like, this has to, you have to do something about this. I'm contacting the club. And the next morning, here's the fucking zap rooter comes through with the fucking clear <laughs> evidence of she's full of shit. Even her friend, like, I don't know why she lied to me like that. I am so sorry that I just immediately believed her. And I was like, oh, yeah. Carl had a problem like that. <laughs> Everyone just looked at Carl. <laughs> <laughs> so Carl used to uh, be the manager of a comedy club. And there was a woman who he uh, had to tell to shut up because she wouldn't stop fucking talking during the show. And uh, she wrote a letter to the club saying he'd threatened to throw her down the stairs and that he'd pinned her up against the wall in the toilets. <laughs> oh, wow. And yeah. It's not but true. But did you have a video to... Well, the CC. Well, the thing with the club is it's 200 people and it was this was in the break. So if, it, if that would have happened, there would have been dozens of witnesses. <laughs> she said I pinned it up against the toilet, the women's toilet, which you had 50 women in. I'm sure they would have stopped me doing that. Um, she must have done something. Yeah, and, and there's the CCTV everywhere. That the, the, I spoke to the owner, who I'm good friends with, and he was like, I know it's all absolute bullshit, don't worry. But she, she went out to get me sacked, fired. Wow. Yeah, just because I told her to stop talking. Yeah, we're in the era of, if you piss me off slightly, I'm going to try and end your career. It's not enough that you're like, I'm, I think you've done something wrong and I'm pissed off that you've upset me. Can I have an apology? It's not, it's not good enough, is it? We've got to give one star reviews. This place is disgusting. We need, they need to lose the license. You should never work again. You're like, calm the fuck down. Yeah, you, yeah. Maybe you want an apology. I'm still allowed to earn a living. People expected those to stop being a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We had, a, we had a clip go. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I tweeted something about, uh, hey, every comedy club, everyone of you should have a speaker in the green room so you can hear what's going on on stage when the other acts are on stage. Yes. And uh, I got a lot of good responses anyway. One response I got was, uh, yeah, and hey, comedy clubs, you guys should uh, start uh, warning people when a sexual predator is going to be on your lineup. 
which is you know, a Louis C.K. probably yeah. reference, but whoever right. has been accused of whatever. I know, but any, any, well, they, yeah. We should be warned if he's going to be on the show. Why don't you go into the fucking kitchen of the diner next time you have breakfast and see how many felons are cooking? <laughs> <back there? laughs> how many ex-cons yeah. are fucking changing your fucking tire at Jiffy Lube, you fucking <laughs> one-note wonder? <laughs> This, that was the interesting thing. When someone does something wrong now, and like everyone's like, right, let's cancel them or get them fired or whatever. What are they meant then meant to do for a living? You know, once they're like sort of in trouble, if you've been to prison for murder and you come out, you've got to be able to do something so you can eat and fucking drink. Yeah. Oh, by the way, uh, the uh, the the list. If you had a gig where it was all just the fucking reprobates who've done something wrong, probably be a great bill. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I know I'm being a dick, but... <laughs> and it's been be. a running kind of cliched joke since this all started, but there's going to be a cancel culture tour of all these cancel comedians touring together. And I'm, I'm, I don't see why it hasn't happened. I, <laughs> that would be hilarious. I mean, people say it would be hilarious in theory, but no, in reality, that would be hilarious. It'd be so fucking funny. Got some questions. Um, the problem is they're all doing well enough on their own <laughs> yeah. that they don't need to tour together. Yeah, getting no cancelled. really gets cancelled. Great for they, sales. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, uh, Jay Ryan says, favourite city to gig in the state, as we're talking about stand-up, Jay Ryan says, favourite city to gig in the state, in the states and favourite outside of the states. Where are the, where are the places you look forward to playing Back home, and then when you're on your travels, uh, well, it, it, it's, this, these are so hard. These questions, because, like we said, the, the shittier the town, the yeah. better the audience generally. So I'll, I'll just say Wolverhampton is my favorite place <laughs> outside of the states. I, and again, there's places you love to go, but the gigs are all right. I mean, I love to go to Portland, and I have a really good audience there. But you show up in Portland's meant to be like the most woke. Like over the top. That's yeah, but my audience goes around those people and comes into the room and we all laugh. And then like, oh. it's not like those woke people are going, oh, what's in here for $55 plus Ticketmaster fees? Yeah. <laughs> so in theory, that's the same. It's the same theory as like, yeah, play, people in places that are a bit shitty and it, like life is hard. You get good gigs. The stand-up fans in... Portland, Oregon have to deal with so many douchebags. They're like, oh, finally. Yeah, the fucking relief of actually watching proper comedy. Like Anthony Jeselnik filmed his first Netflix special in San Francisco, which is exactly what you're talking about. It's supposed to be ultra woke, certainly like a massive LGBT community over there. And it's meant to be this sort of really hipster woke new age town. And he starts the special by going, a lot of people have asked me why I'm filming it here when it's like a, a super woke town. It's like, well, it's fucking not when I'm on stage because there aren't any Jessonic fans. And there's also like a, a re like comedy works better when it feels illegal, when it feels naughty and wrong. So like those little gigs that popped up throughout the pandemic where we weren't supposed to be doing them, but they just happened and you got people into a room. Some of the best gigs we've ever, ever had. We, we put on a, uh, a conference. There was a weird little window coming out of COVID where the government was trying to get businesses back to it, but wouldn't let people go and watch comedy gigs. So we put on a conference for people to learn how to do stand up. <laughs> and they paid about, you know, 15 quid, 20 quid. And then we put together, it was quite good. We put together about five comedians and they taught stand up by doing comedy <laughs> to about, about 100 people that wanted to learn how to do comedy. <laughs> It was great. No one took notes. They just sat and laughed. It was a really good conference. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Uh, a friend it. that just uh, is getting out of prison and the, uh, one of the things in the halfway house kind of release, he, he couldn't do stand-up comedy, which is great because he's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but I told him that he shouldn't say, if you can't do comedy, but go to a, start a, a poetry right at night and just make all your shit rhyme. <laughs> or make it not like, rhyme and just be like yeah. this is me poem I'm just really fucking bad at yeah, poems go to karaoke and say this next song is called my act and I'm gonna do it acapella <laughs> did you record especially in Norway yeah that was a terrible mistake <laughs> why I just cause it wasn't ready to be a special it was all new uh, being worked out in the process, kind of good, but not nearly ready to film. But Hannigan, the fucking 
filthy Scotsman. It was <laughs> cheap, and he found a really good deal where we could get uh, done <laughs> for pennies on the dollar by a really good camera person. And so I, I said yes. So, good, cr- good crowd though. Apart from like the, well, it was a, they're very stiff over there. Again, one of my favorite places to go is Norway, Stavanger and Bergen, and but the, the audiences are. Welcoming. <laughs> they're just they're, the Scandinavian people are all just kind of nice. Oh yeah, they're chuffed yeah. that they're like they're chuffed they're that no the highs uh, and lows with them. I've got oh, fuck. I love Norway. I need to go back to Norway. Getting checked out by like objective eights, like like uh, fit, beautiful women who are looking at you going, oh yeah, you look all right. Because if you look, I swear to God, there's so many there's so many beautiful women in Norway. There's the, what we consider a fucking beautiful woman is average for Norway. Their, their expectations they do look are lower. A little bit inbred. Oh, I, <laughs> I, I like but that. I like I, that. I, think I, I love even eyes said close that on together. That special is there. There's no porn in them. There's no. There's no fuck me. They're they're sexless kind of. I know exactly what he means. You know, I think like the Scandinavians, are like they're objectively they're like beautiful, but they're less like fuckable. They're behind the eyes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. They're just There's like, no it's dirty. like they're like too perfect. Yeah. I, like, yeah. You never see a Swedish woman with like a limp. Do you know what I mean? No, you don't. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I mean? And like, I need that. I need something wrong with them. Yeah. Well, there's a Japanese artist who says, uh, <laughs> it's the most amazing. What are you looking for in a woman? Uh, I'm going to Scandinavia and just, you know, Hanging around right around the disability fucking oh my god. Going to the Paralympics and like, oh my god, Sweden's on next. It's gonna be fucking great. Imperfections make you make things better. Yeah. Imperfections. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Because it yeah. overcomes you. Oh, she does uh, uh, Yeah. She you could do better than sorry, me, but love. I see why she doesn't know that. It's like yeah. eating in a nice restaurant, isn't it? Yeah. Like it feels <laughs> it feels like a lot of effort. To go to a Michelin starred restaurant. Like, it's nice every now and then. Good to experience it. I'd but love to experience it. Yeah, but if, if, that's, if that restaurant has a hair lip. <laughs> <laughs> I, sorry, Norwegian women. You're just going to have to stop trying to fuck us. You, you're just too beautiful. We're not interested. You don't, you don't want Michelin star food every night. No, you, you don't. Want Sometimes you just burger. want a fucking Donner kebab. Right. Yeah. Oh, fuck Norwegian women? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, though? No. Yeah, I do, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Stephen Kane says, how insane does Doug find the cult of personality around the Queen and the Queen's... The Queen's... You know, I asked a uh, bartender yesterday. Uh, I, go, I, I'm, I know it's a weird question, but do you know what the Queen's like, name is? Like a real name? She has to have like a name. Yeah. And uh, he goes, yeah, it's Elizabeth. Like, uh, And he had to Google it. Like, what... She, do you guys know her name? Windsor. Elizabeth Windsor, yeah. Yeah, but, but isn't, that, isn't that... Yeah, they changed it, because it's like... It's not she wasn't born. The Franken sh- National... Yeah, she's Franken. German, isn't yeah. she? It doesn't it's basically Elizabeth The fact that one of your Mushing local Gladbach. bartenders had to Google yeah. to figure out what her name is. Wait, is that, was that in Liverpool? That was uh, Nottingham. Oh, I was going to say, if you ask... No one gives a fuck around here about the Queen. No, no one gives a fuck there, either. It no. just it was a weird question. This is yeah. the only time the Queen has crossed my mind, except for are we going to have to fucking move shows because of a funeral? Yeah. Um, could that we pull up Doug's for the uh, dead? tour dates, actually, because you have had to move uh, one of them, and we should actually give these a little plug. So you're over in the UK at the minute. September 18th uh, in London and 20th in London, and the 21st is Cardiff, 22nd is Birmingham, 23rd is Glasgow, 24th is Leeds, 27th is Bath, and then over to Australia for Brisbane, in February. Oh, that's in February. So it's a while off from that. Yeah. Um, so they're, they're all... What, what's the website that we can get these from? Is it Doug Stanhope? Yeah, DougStanhope.com. There we go. Um, so one's been moved. Or one's getting Yeah, moved. one... Uh, uh, I oh, just One of the London ones got moved from Monday to Tuesday. Oh, it has to be. There's too Monday, much yeah. grief. And I'm so sad. I, but we're going to be there for... I don't know how much fucking chaos it's going to be. I'm just terrified of traffic. I don't <laughs> care about anything in the yeah, world. Yeah, you're not going to be able to get anywhere in a fucking car while that's happening. The tubes. Every, but, Monday will stop. The world will and stop. And it's so fucking stupid. Do you know how annoying it is that, like, football's not happening? Football's not happening because l- certain... Oh, they don't have enough cops. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, really annoying. 
really, really, really annoying. Can we definitely record on mon- Monday? We are recording on Monday. We are recording what on she, Monday. It's what she would have wanted. Yeah. It's what she would have wanted. She was a patron. Um, uh, John Kelly says, I'm a patron of both podcasts. He's a patron of yours and ours. Oh, nice. Uh, could you ask Doug some stories of his job in telemarketing? Is it hilarious in his book? Nah, that's too long. I mean, right. <laughs> too much to explain, and nothing comes to mind. But it's I, shut but it's up, a good, John. You fucking I, prick. I, I wrote extensively about it in my book, Digging Up Mother, uh, my first book. So yeah, you can go buy that. Thanks for the helping me segue <laughs> into a shoehorn a plug in. And my uh, last book, my latest book, No Encore for the Donkey, is now out. No Encore paperback. for the Donkey. Yes. Uh, what? Where does the title come from? There. Yeah, it's really deeply embedded in the book. It, <laughs> it's, uh, it, it's about doing a, a horrible tour where I just felt like over and I was in the middle of nowhere and uh, how it felt like a donkey show. And it is a very descriptive passage about how I, I've i never met anyone who's actually been to a donkey show, but I've heard the urban legend so often that I can picture the exact lady. <laughs> I like, if, I've imagined it so much. I, it's like a regular bar in my head. And, and so it's a long description of that and how there's the, the, there was no encore for the donkey. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's a Patreon special we're not doing. <laughs> The donkey show. Uh, shall we give some advice? People yeah. ask. People ask for advice. Oh, he, he's very good at advice. When I say very good, he's a f- not. Um, so let's see if we can help someone out. Uh, Wagwan boys need some advice because this one's tricky. Long story short, one of my wife's mates sort of came. Kill on. yourself. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Jump the gun. Next I one. Had my advice. Next one. This. I think this is going to be Doug's advice for most things. Uh, next. I'm thinking about killing myself. Um, <laughs> so long story short, one of my wife's mates sort of came on to me on a night out recently. It had been a big group of us out for someone's birthday. Dream. Good night, loads of booze. And then the usual suspects ended up staying out after most of the group, including my missus, had gone to get food. Towards the end of the night on the dance floor, I basically got a squeeze of the arse, which I thought was just someone fucking about. Then all of a sudden, I've got my bird's mate whispering some drunken shite in my ear about how she's always had a thing for me. I swiftly fucking manoeuvred my way out of there and scarpered. This is honestly not me bragging. I'd much rather this hadn't happened, but I didn't tell my wife the next day. And now I don't know if I should tell her or just hope it never gets fucking mentioned. She'll go fucking mental if I tell her. Maybe at me. So what do I do? Uh, Don't tell her anything ever. (laughs) And then kill yourself. (laughs) No, don't. Ne- never, and just act like you don't remember. That was my that was my suggestion. Be drunk all the time, like <laughs> me. Because if I, I was in a moral quandary like that, I would just say, uh, I don't remember if that happened or not. So yeah. that way, if she goes, oh, I'm sorry, I got drunk and I told your husband that I wanted to fuck him, and your wife says, Why didn't you tell me that? You're like, Oh shit, I was drunk. I don't know. If, I don't remember her saying that. And I have an excuse all the time because I don't remember most of the time. Nice. Because <laughs> I'm always drunk. Really nice. I mean, the fear is that through embarrassment, the mate accuses him, I suppose. That's always, this is the, this is, if this happened to me, my instinct would be, Fuck I need to control the fucking news to be like, yeah, but this it's, happened. It's, it's gone. She's a fucking wrong gun. I'm saying it first before she goes. I yeah, but that's got to be immediate. That's got to be the next day. Yeah, you can't yeah. wait well, weeks. First of all, we'd all have fucked her, so I don't know why we're <laughs> even involved in this conversation. <laughs> that is the dream. What? Text her back. Like, <laughs> text her back. Yeah. Text her she, back. Yeah. What is, girl? How what, are we? How are we? Uh, right. Yeah. Text her. Yeah, we well can't go back to the fucking. You can't go to the time machine, Dan. Right. So you. So your advice is just fucking get into it. Yeah. Yes. He's like, I don't know whether to tell my wife. Don't tell her anything and just start fucking banging her mate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have an affair. Oh my god. What are you waiting there like this? That would be. Why is he asking us, mate? Yeah. I'm going. To, if I'm having an affair, it's Norway. Oh, that's how far I'm going. <laughs> fucking. Can't have an affair with what? a Norwegian woman, Dan. Just too beautiful. <laughs> too beautiful. Yeah, but she's not in a WhatsApp group with my fucking missus. Yeah. Do you not understand what I mean by the, the too beautiful thing? Do you not get it? Yeah. 
Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah, yeah. You know, like when your house is clean and you don't want to go for a poo. Yeah. I, mate, I, because I, you don't want to ruin it. I, I, I don't want to ruin a Norwegian woman. <laughs> you don't want to poo on a Norwegian woman. I get it. You get, you get it. Hey, I, I look, I like the theory. I get it. But if a beautiful Norwegian woman was like Adam, I think you're so lovely, and I want to sit on your face, you'd be like, I'm so sorry. You're just too fit. I don't think that would work. I just think I'd feel like I don't belong there. You're like, listen, before we get going, have you got eczema? And psoriasis? <laughs> yeah. What? Just break one of her legs. Break one of her legs. You Fuck can't. your wife's mate. <laughs> and break and a Norwegian, a Norwegian woman. It's <laughs> no, great advice. Don't attack Norwegian women. That's not. That's, that's not their fault. They're too beautiful. It's just. It's, Did you do, do a little public service announcement, Lids? Please. <laughs> Maybe the it's attacks uh, on Norwegian women, Norwegian women need to stop. When you say they're too beautiful, it sounds like you have a low self-esteem where you don't deserve that kind of beauty. Ooh. This is the kind of question I would bring to. Betterhelp.com. <laughs> Promo code Stanhope. Word 10. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, I've never been accused of having low self-esteem before. That's a, that's a first, that. Oh, yeah, but you used to fuck hobgoblins, didn't you? Let's yeah, be yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's still it. Once that's in your DNA, you'll fuck her, fuck it. You'll bang a troll. It's still in there. He shagged a watermelon? No. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, his bar is on the... It's literally on the floor over there. <laughs> no, back in, back in the day... I did, so I was just, I was anyone's, I just wanted to fuck. <laughs> Do you know BTF, what I mean? mate. BTF. Like when I was younger, I just, if I was drunk in a club, if any woman would fuck me, I'd just be like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and uh, it's almost like, it's kind of like how Hedberg died, because he could never say no to gigs. Because he remembered all the time it was so hard to get gigs. He just had, he couldn't turn down gigs, and he was constantly working until it killed him and the heroin uh, but, but that's but it was the same from the way air. where you from the air. remember where it was so difficult to get pussy and it was so so random and rare that later on in life when it was more prevalent because of you're on stage you go ah I feel like I remember it, how hard like, yeah you yeah. can't waste it make yeah, me exactly. work for it you're yeah. losing money yeah everyone should just fuck <laughs> each other more wouldn't it it's just wouldn't that be a nice thing if ever like I think most men in the world are up for it. Let's just start banging more. Are the oh, women up like, for it though? I'm saying, stop holding back the puss. <laughs> People have seen, I don't know if it's weird over here, but uh, it's, at home in the States, it seems like people are fucking all the time just on those apps. Yeah. Like, uh, my last of uh, my heyday was MySpace days. And then since then, I was like, but if I was in my prime and motivated and I, all those fucking apps were around, yeah, I, w I, would, I would. I just think I'm looking for something more. Right. right. Like a fucking fake eye. Yeah, a bullet hole. <laughs> just trying to check Norwegian Columbo. <laughs> There's a sentence I, I didn't want, think I'd know, say. I want something meaningful. That's what I'm after. All right. I don't just want to fuck. I've fucked enough this year. <laughs> <laughs> you feel like, like your end of your tax year. You've filled your quota, have you? I've, I've filled my quota for this year by like the end of March. I just went on a bit of... I'll see you in Oslo. <laughs> uh, that guy, uh, if you're not going to tell your wife, if you're not going to tell you your wife. You can't tell your wife now. Do yeah, it, you can. Just do it then. Just fucking Don't no, tell your she wife loses anything. A friend, then she might resent you for telling her. Why have you told me that? You didn't shag her, did you? Why have you maybe lose a friend and think less of you? What's telling her going to gain? Nothing. It's protect. Women don't like having information they think they do. You have to keep it from them. Because she might resent you for it. I'm just saying. Something beeped worryingly then. We've got right. a crew. All right, all right. Stop worrying, stop looking. But yeah. Shit myself. Just do it. If you're not going to tell your wife, just text her back and go, what is? Let's go to Little Chef. Mate. I, I wonder if he's actually not dealt with this on the off chance you picked his letter out of the fishbowl <laughs> and he's been like waiting for weeks and weeks, <laughs> not knowing what to do, sleepless nights, <laughs> sweating through pillows. I hope we, so. We get questions and they're like, right, in two weeks, this is happening. And I'm, I, there's such a backlog of questions. And I know that this fucking email has been sent in like June. And he's like, in two weeks, I need some advice because this is happening. And I, we've been reading them out in like fucking August just to be a cunt. <laughs> I love it. Because I know he's like, oh, great, now. Fucking, that's I done. I wrote a it's prank letter to done. Dear Abby once about Dear Abby. And I wrote it in the prose of those kind of... Uh, 
My baby seems to be choking on something. It's, <laughs> it's turning blue. I didn't know if I should do that squeezy chesty thing. <laughs> I turned my back for two minutes, but what's a mother to do? Kind of <laughs> about my baby turning blue and dying. <laughs> Just to let you know, there's no following that. Yeah, <laughs> there's no following that. Should we call that a pod? Call it a pod. All right. Um, I'm gonna, Go back and do that dumb show in Nottingham, high as fuck. <laughs> You're gonna take more edibles for the for the drive home. I might, I might grab a snack too. Yeah, have a cigarette. <laughs> God, I have a, such a night planned. Could, please take some of that lemonade. It would make I, it I'm would gonna. make yeah Matthew very happy if you took. <laughs> I love how much variety there is. <laughs> I just wanted one from the lemonade stand. Yeah. The pla plastic jug kind of took the allure of that picture I had of a nice freshly <laughs> squeezed pineapple. It, ha and I, it had a slice of lemon in my mind on the edge and a bendy straw. And he come I, back with four different bottles. Yeah, this is, hey, please take at least one of those. I'm and, going to. And help yourself to the chilled dildos. <laughs> chilled It's a good band name, though. Chilled yeah. Use chilled. promo code Stan. <laughs> chilled available. Chilled That's got the word <laughs> child in it. <laughs> child. Oh, shit. Child dose. Jeez. <laughs> It's been a pleasure having you done. Cold dildos for your kids. Get them in chill those top. That's what everyone was thinking. It didn't need it didn't need fucking ramen home. <laughs> Don't be subtle to I'm you. I'm like trying to come up with <laughs> fake commercials for my podcast and fake companies. And I, was, I wanted to do one that it was child porn, but made by children. <laughs> it's for us, by us. <laughs> There's no, there's no code for that. Nine, nine, nine. For us, by us. It's a good day. Ah, <laughs> uh, this has been fucking quality. Thank you, Doug. Thanks Thank for coming you guys. in. Bro. Thanks so much for coming in. Um, that's the end of this week's episode. We're playing the arena. Uh, there are 400 tickets-ish left. It probably less by now, to be honest. I haven't checked for a week. Um, that is on Friday the 9th of December. <laughs> tickets are at gigsandtours.com or ticketquarter.co.uk. Child those! <laughs> um, we, we also we have a, a, a song at the end of every episode uh, that we play out with. And who is this week's... Song Finn. This week we got uh, a, a, lo a local band, Scouse band called Rainmaker. They've just played at the Academy, and this is a song called Hope I'm Not Alone. It's Wonderful. You don't get that on YouTube because they'll fuck us, but you get it on the audio, so enjoy that. Have a nice week. We'll see you next week. Thank you very, very much to, for Doug to coming in, and I want some lunch. All right, nice one. Cheers, Doug. Thanks.